hard not to be watching the uh, January 6th hearings as we're trying to do trivia. But um, I have it on in the corner over here where you can see it. But try not to look at it. I turned off the audio. So let's call everybody back from their, their rooms. They've been chit chatting for a while there now. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's get them all back. I think the names today are going to be a very political, uh, January 6th political. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. That's my prediction. All right, we're the first ones back. Woohoo! I just made a prediction. Uh oh. It's on the audio, yeah. it's on the video, but you, you don't know what it is. Okay. But I just made a prediction, so we'll see. What, that Carl will win? No. Oh. It's about the names. <laughs> oh, okay. Team name. Hello, back, everybody. Let's go and find out who our team names are tonight. I was just telling, I was telling the first people back that I just made a prediction on video. And so let's see if, see if I'm right. Yes, Vincent? Um, according to what I heard, we're yeah. being recorded. I just, just God, I'm sorry. I'm going to miss that when someday you're not going to say that. And I'm going to be so disappointed. Was that your prediction that Vincent wasn't going to say that? No, actually, I that was my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier every week, Vincent. It gets funnier. It, do, it does. Because yeah. <laughs> I forget you're going to do it until you do well, it. it. Can't get less funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys are just okay. Enjoying. Our oh. team name. You want that? Okay, so I want to know Bob, Kevin, Vincent, Wendy. Chicken shirts. What is it? Chicken oh. shit, because we like to hear Susan say shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's not spelled right. It's not spelled like that. It's spelled as chicken in like treat? shit's free. Chicken shit. That's what it's I thought you meant. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. in the chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Fantastic. Alan, Carl, Peggy, and Susie. A paranoia of narcissists because we decided that the plural form of narcissist must be paranoia. Mm -hmm. okay. They travel in paranoia. They travel in paranoia. Uh, okay. Ben, Faith, Romero, Larry, and Terry. Uh, we are Hubble, Bubble, Toil, and Trouble. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh, what a tangled uh, web you weave. Yeah. And, and, and our subtitle can be Leave Hubble Alone. It did its job. So it I'm continues to do a fantastic job. Exactly. What, what's, what's this about? What's the context? So many, so many people online are all like comparing uh, images from James Webb, comparing them to Hubble and essentially giving uh hubble dissing hubble for you know you oh my god not doing as good of a job it's like, like you're, you're doing a fine job technology yeah. there you are dozens of memes of there's yes. a meme of a guy and a girl walking and <laughs> the girl is supposed yeah. to be hubble and the guy's looking back on ooh at the james webb telescope yeah that yeah. makes sense that leave, meme has leave. been around in some yeah. form yeah. for so long yeah. somebody yeah. took that random yeah. picture someday and Go to bed. I bet do, do people know who those people are? Does anyone know who those people are? Someone does. Model. Yeah, I'm sure someone. Uh, it sounds. It looks like it's a commercial. I don't know what it is. Okay, so Kyle, Leonard, Mike, Wolf, and Ron. We are torturing cats. What? what? That's terrible. <laughs> too soon. It's always um, too soon. It's because of this guy. The reason I was offline for a little while there is we had to go and stick uh, needles in his head. Oh, Aww. he's got he's got diabetes. So, oh, yeah, I had Insul cat. insulin in injection. So we were torturing cats. Oh, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't acupuncture. When you, I thought you said needles in his Same head. Thing. Gail, Jamie, Janine and Rob. So uh, this is in context of when I interviewed Susan the other day and I asked her to identify herself. She said, called herself the princess of the universe. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. 
Oh, okay. All right. So Karen's here. Hello, Karen. I hope she stays. She's her internet's good. She's been in and out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm gonna put you number one. Yay. Vincent yes. On. What's up? I'll put I'll put Karen over there with them. You're on the chicken shit category. Oh, Karen. That's all right. She's, she's smart. There you go. Okay, here we go. So, Gail, since somebody's watching the hearings. I can hear you watching the hearings. I've got it over the corner while you guys are in your rooms. What is she playing on? So, my prediction was is that there, you guys would come back with January 6 related um, titles for your teams, and nobody did. You're such a good psychic. Narcissist. Proven I'm psychics so good. are good. I'm right on it. Narcissist was a was an oblique but strong reference to that's probably the, the closest hearing. we've got here today. So I'm kind of disappointed in y'all. So right. well, Trump is a chicken shit. So that's how uh, we go. He's also on S C H I T T, so that doesn't count. I wanted to do the um nepotism narcissist nepotistic nar narcissist that would have been more closer to appropriate okay so we've got, I thought so yeah so tonight we have um our first round is going to be let me just make sure i have it kevin and um carl terry kyle and rob is doing bonus and gail since i thought you were so i've already made you co-host so let so i'm going to put gail in charge of being the person who mutes everybody and does all that <laughs> mean stuff all the stuff i the princess of the universe do not do <laughs> and under participants, right? I think that's right. <clears throat> okay. So we're on game 117, season three, episode eight, believe it or not. And yes, Carl with a K, we are considering Saturday is canon. So too bad, too so sad. I know he doesn't like it whenever we do that, but that's okay. So we do have a few Saturdays under our, our um, belt, but just a few. And we've been meeting for 117 times 117 times and not all of those have been thursdays but we've never missed a thursday including today which i don't know what the heck this january 6th people are doing they need to do it on a day not a thursday or at least not this time of the day because they're interfering in our trivia and i seems gonna, like it was I almost planned to do that right it could be any other day they're trying to do that time. they're trying to disrupt this trivia so after the game is all over then we can go watch the hearings but you know what Somebody who's got contact, who wants a right to um, Benny there? <laughs> I'll, I'll write one more ask, Thursday night. I'll ask time. him some questions. Don't you all have recording devices? Yes, I know, but <laughs> I like, you know, I want to know. We're done. Have. I'm going to go watch the rest of it. I, watch well, I am too. I am too. <laughs> who's oh, Benny? Me. Benny and the Jets? No, Benny. Who's Benny? Benny's the guy who's in charge of the January 6th hearings. The oh, of the oh, oh, okay. 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 So yeah. here comes somebody yeah. else who just came in. I just put him in. He, he's Robin. a guy who, who keeps who keeps recognizing himself, which I just find out. Me, 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 me. I'm supposed to be, Robin. I'm I'm supposed to be at a meeting tonight, but it got canceled. Oh, ha, ha. So we gave away your bonus category you were going to do. Oh, was I going to do a bonus category? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Week, I'll do it next week. I'll do it I next actually week. have a bonus category it. if anybody I wants me to do it. I do but, have a bonus one. In well, my I head. Just, I oh we know I already gave it away. I'll okay. Do, I'll do it <laughs> on that team though. Okay, Robin, you're gonna be I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. I mean me. I'm I hey. is there somebody else that came in that I didn't put him on a it seems like somebody came in with Robin, but I'm not sure. I think it was somebody who is already here and then got booted out. Okay, no, I think that's it. All right. So I'm yeah. ready to start. That was Susie who got booted out so she won't be like automatically sent in her room. Room. okay i'll yeah. take care of it that i Thanks. that i can Thank handle you. i can deal with that so <clears throat> we're going to go to the beginning so gail you are the mute hammer i'm going to start with the person who's first up tonight which would be kevin and as long as it's not all billy joel i'm okay no. i really <laughs> should just read a lot of billy joel everything there is to do but with i've only done that category that. once you just think I've done it more than once. It feels like you've done it almost. I talk about it, but I don't it's like Sagan and billions and billions. Round. Yeah, billions and billions now. I did two other questions in other rounds. The the lyrics keep in track and the music. Anyway, okay. uh, tonight I'm doing a mystery round. 
Answer no the question. Kidding. No fill in the blanks this time. Answer the question. And you. if it's like two word answers, one of the word will, words will be used in the theme. So like if I said uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, the answer would be White House. Either white or house would be part of the theme, but not both. Okay? Is the theme is it a bonus? Like the theme a, a bonus? No, point? no. Oh, well, maybe I have to decide. We'll think about that because I got ten questions and you use the theme to. You realize you have a limited answer. amount of time to make up your mind on that. Here we right? go. <laughs> answer the questions. One word from each answer will relate to the theme. What okay, product I'm uses? I'm muting everybody. Yeah. Okay. One, two. What three. product uses the tagline? Kevin got muted. You're muted, Kevin. Unmute Kevin. yourself. You're muted. We didn't hear the question. What product uses the tagline, I put that shit on everything? Question number two. An avowed scientific skeptic and agnostic, he often lectured at scientific and skeptic conferences using his optical illusions and magic tricks to demonstrate the ease with which the mind can be fooled by the eye. Name him. Question number three. Who played Sophia Petrillo on the Golden Girls? Question number four. Name the animated science fiction sitcom show on Cartoon Network's Walk Adult Swim. The series follows the misadventures of a cynical bad scientist and his good-hearted but fretful grandson who split their time between domestic life and interdimensional ad adventures. Time travel, Susan. <laughs> who played, who portrayed Jamie Buchanan in the sitcom Mad About You? Question number six. I can't even pronounce anything in question number six. <laughs> um, what is composed of 65% this chemical, 17% silica, 9% another chemical, 4% another chemical, 1% another chemical, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about the spelling on the answer, but try to guess what it is based on the theme. Number seven, what comedian born in 1952 did Rolling Stone refer to as the first lady of stand-up comedy in 1988? In the late 70s, she lived with Robin Williams. And in the early 80s, she lived with Andy Kaufman. Name her, and once again, don't worry about the spelling. Question number eight. Who played the role of Mr. Conductor on the PBS show, Shining Time Station? Remember the answer should relate to the theme. Number nine, name the 1979 film starring Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep. Number 10, she starred in Rocky Horror Picture Show and Thelma and Louise. Name her. And I don't want to do a bonus, for, but you just the theme will help you answer the 10 questions. Okay, here comes Debra. And that's it. I'm going to put these back in here since she gets here. And there Deborah's shouldn't be gonna... any questions because they're all there. Yeah, we got this. We know all this. Right. We know the routine. All right. So I'm going to put, uh, Debra, you here? I th oh, it's still says so she's joining. Okay, you can go ahead and go, Gail, if you want to send them to the rooms. I'll, I'll take care of Deborah in a minute. She's going to go on a par paranoia of narcissists. Did I oh, several of you guys I got to put on your teams. Okay, let's see. Karen. Larry. You're on a Hubble bubble with three. Yep. Robin, you're going to go into the five. And Susie, you are in 
two. And Deborah is still taking her time. Hi, Hamilton. Nice of you to join us. Waiting for Debbie, Debbie, Tepper to load. Let me copy all these questions so I can send them to Deborah. Much fun. It gets here because they can't see the, you can't see the chat. If you weren't here in the room. Hamilton, what do you think the problem is? What do you think of the hearings? Are you here for trivia? You don't want to be on the torturing cat one, huh? I didn't think so. I'll just keep an eye. I'll just go over to the room and then I'll just keep an eye on Deborah. Oh, here's, there she is. Deborah's going to three. Okay, now I'm going up. Sender. That one. All right. Oh, Hi, oh. Is this? Like, that's not robot broken. chicken. It's not robot chicken, right? No, it is not Rick robot and chicken. Rick and Morty. Okay, go. Rick Great. and Morty. Rick and Morty, yeah. Am I, oh, am I Rick muted? and Morty. Rick and Morty. Okay. Morty's the grandson. Rick is the love father. Okay. Um, uh, who portrayed Jamie Buckman, Buckman in the... Um, um, that is that? Um, uh, pretty... She was in the thunder, the swirling tornado movie. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Helen, yeah. Helen, yeah. Helen. Helen Hunt. Yes. Are you sure? Her name in the character was Jamie. What wasn't that the yeah, woman's yeah. name? Paul Reiser and Jamie. But yeah. Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser was the was the boyfriend or the husband. Yeah. Were they married? Yeah. And, they were. Yeah, they Helen. were married. And I so, thought it was. I thought it was Paul Reiser. Oh, Jamie's the guy. Yeah, I thought that that's who. Oh, it was. okay. I don't know. I I never watched it. Okay. I thought, I, uh, okay. No, no I, idea. No idea. Susan, we're relying on you for number six. So it's either number two. You've got Hunt. number two. You've got Jerry Andrus's last name spelled wrong. It's A N R U S. R U S. Spelling -U -S. doesn't come. Well. And you got to have this one right because that's just okay. Not right. okay. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I've only spent it, it a year true. engulfed in that guy's life. There's no way I can so, let it you, stand. I gotta feel like I'm participating. I don't know anything about number six. I think that's I got scared just looking at the at the percent. That's an apple. I think that's an apple. Okay, oh, really? put it down. Silica. Where, where, silica would not be in an apple. Okay, I have a, I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion. It's a health there's and a, beauty product. 
there's a theme here. So why don't we go through and get the ones we know we know and see if the theme uh, helps us come with the ones. Right, we I agree. Have. Okay. That was the advice I was just going to give. All right. So what's number? So we don't know what number six is. Right. What's uh, number seven? Elaine Boosler. Oh, that makes sense. I was going to say it was Gilda yeah. Radner, but it didn't make sense why there was a problem with the spelling. Yeah, that makes sense. Elaine I don't know who she okay. is. B O O. Eight is eight is either Ringo Starr or George Carlin. Um, it started out with Ringo Starr, and uh, George Carlin took over later. Oh, so, so one of those. So you have things. to have the theme because he doesn't. Okay. He doesn't say the first Mr. Conductor or whatever. Oh wait, so, I got the theme. I got the theme. Number nine is Kramer versus Kramer Seinfeld. And the last one, Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon. So oh, the so, theme is the theme is Seinfeld. So George, yeah. So it would be George Carlin, Elaine Boozler. Uh, just just a sec. You're going too fast. Uh, Rick and Morty. Was there a Rick on Seinfeld? Morty. Morty was uh, Seinfeld's dad. Okay, Morty. Okay. Um, Susan Sarandon is number ten. So yeah, Susan. George was engaged to Susan. She died, right? Yeah. Um, Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser or Helen Hunt for number five. Is there a Helen? Helen. On. On. on I, think, uh, I think maybe one Karen. of the mom's names. There's no Paul. Nobody named Paul. So you think it's Helen? I yeah, it's Jamie, I thought was the woman. I don't, I don't remember. Hey, Susan, Kevin can't jump around. And he wants oh. to. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Um, Kevin. Aw. Who was like watching the thought I'm process? Over. Okay, so number one would not be Philadelphia cream cheese because Philly's got nothing to do with Seinfeld. Yeah, it's New York. Okay, uh, and what would it be? We have I this. Thought was, I thought it was a cream cheese. But we had it in a previous um, uh, trivia as a slogan. There was a thing all about slogans. Yeah. So it's not Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay. I didn't give him his permission, so I'm just flinging him from one room to another. Um, what? I love that. Who was the actress on Golden Girls? What What was her name? Estelle, Estelle Getty. Estelle Getty. Yeah, that was Estelle her. was. Um, yeah, was uh, George Costanza's mom right yeah okay what are things in seinfeld there's the yogurt there's the soup there's the um, bosco cereal i don't know I've, I've seen maybe a whole 10 minutes of Seinfeld over the years. Just a little clip here, a little clip You there. two, you're confessing to my, to that is a weakness of mine, is um, um, popular culture. I, I didn't watch it. There's my a lot of it I didn't watch. On it. Some things I yep. did watch, but not, I mean, some of it is just some, I know who Seinfeld is. I know who some of the characters are. I understand the premise. Like what's that other one, Sex in the City? I have no yeah. idea. I have no yeah. no, vaguely, I know you know, you, know, you just pick it up. Can we go down okay. to um can we go down to number five and change it to Helen Hunt? Okay. Yeah. 
because Helen, somebody's mom was Helen, maybe. Is that Jerry's mom, Helen and Morty? Maybe. There's no Number, Paul. Yeah, okay. Number six is a health and beauty product, like um, an ointment. Oh, you know, some a skin preparation. George or two. put George put stuff on his head to make the um uh to make his hair grow. He got it in China and it smelled really bad. I'm not well, sure. I'm missing a lot. Not by by not watching the show. There might be a lot of things I had to be there. I guess it, so. A hair growth hair growth <laughs> cream. <laughs> No, uh, it was that that would Rogaine? have been. Is it Rogaine? No, he would have been sued if he if it was something named. Yeah, nine percent. Demoxamil, did did demoxamil or something? Monoxidil. Yeah. Man, yeah, man, yeah. No, minoxidil. Yeah, that was uh That's a hair growth thing. Maybe that's what it was, minoxidil. minoxidil. Well, I'm trying to think. You said it's a health and beauty product. I'm trying to think yeah, of anything. Because it's got, it's got glycerin, titanium dioxide, just makes it look white, you know? Yeah, he bought this cream in China and yeah, then he cream, smeared it yeah. on his head. Dimethylsiloxane. Well, wouldn't it be something that's like a common product or something? Because it wouldn't yeah. have anything to do with hair growth. It yeah. couldn't be a brand name because then they would be sued by whoever owns it. So it'd be something like mayonnaise or, or. No, it's help. Yeah, it's help. It's probably it's just something. It's an ointment. I remember when my ex brother in law it's, it's, started smearing mayonnaise on his head when he thought he was going bald. Mayonnaise? Oh, Seriously? No. Really? You guys are going to be mm -hmm. upset if it's mayonnaise. No, there'd be mm -hmm. eggs in there, wouldn't there? It's, oh, well, the thing that was that stopped me was um, when they were when I think somebody thought it was an apple is that it's got silica in it. Yeah, that that's silica wouldn't be in an apple. Oh, no, okay. it's a health. It's a it's a cream or something. It's a health and beauty product okay. because the glycerin makes it flow and the. Uh, and the titanium dioxide makes it look white. That's just a pigment. So it's a white, you know, get like a white creamy stuff. That's cold cream. Cold cream. Who did cold cream? It's Not nobody ever even uses it anymore. But when my when I was a little girl, that was a popular uh, okay. product and it was the advertiser on a lot of tv shows okay let's let's rethink it, this everything else is a, a name people everything's a name right that we yeah. have so far susan yeah. george elaine he, uh, helen morty estelle so which character is missing that'll give us a clue because they're all names of characters kramer oh, oh kramer's there frank frank is missing Is it Frank? Is well, it, question one is also yeah. probably not a name. Do you think? There's well, if it's like Frank's mustard or something, isn't there, aren't there condiments called Frank's? There are. There's Frank's mustard, Frank's hot hot sauce, uh, Frank inverter. No, it's a, like a condiment. Well, Frank's mustard would sound like something where you would put it. Let's, that shit let's on just everything. put Frank's. Yeah. Frank's. Frank's fill in the blank. Frank's. You know, Frank's, Frank's sauce, Frank's thing, Frank's condiment. Somebody Frank's mustard or Frank's hot sauce or something. Yeah. Okay, so who's missing here? We have Estelle and Frank, uh, Jerry, uh, Elaine, George. Do we have George? We have George. Susan. Where's George? George Carlin. Oh, George Carlin, yeah. Yeah, Elaine, <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> Elaine, Jerry. Oh, what about his brother, his um, um, his uncle? What was he? Uncle. Who's uncle? Leo. Uncle Leo. So number six would be a name, a person's name. Yeah. Yeah, we're she. Yeah, we're coming up with names. She thinks it might be like Leo. 
Uncle yeah, Leo. There's Who nothing else Leo. Um, well, there's uh, um, there's uh, um, that one famous uh, Mary Kay. Mary Kay Green, like okay. uh, Mary Kay or or uh, Estelle and Frank. Has nobody ever heard of Mary Kay? Yeah, yeah, Helen and yeah but Gordy. that's a line of that's Susan. Oh, what about this? What about uh, Jay Peterman? Remember Elaine worked for Jay Peterman for a while? Yeah, the no, Peterman. that's nothing. Yeah. yeah um, and I'm drawing a blank. Got up too early. Um, Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about spelling. Did anybody use Noxema? Did they mention Noxema? Noxema. Hey, that could be it. Oh, well, I don't think it would be a brand name because then again, if, well, I don't know. Seinfeld might have been able to get away with saying Noxema. How about Pond's Cold Cream or, or, um, Jurgens. Jurgens, or who else does those kinds of creams? Oh, it just seems like, odd that they would be that they would use an actual product that had a like you could buy. I, I like um. Oh no! What about Newman? Is another character Newman? Newman's oh Newman's um salad dressing. Would that be Newman something or other? Well, there is a Newman salad dressing. <laughs> you think he could have put that on his head to make his hair grow? No, Would no, salad forget, dressing forget that. Have dimeth, uh, I no, I'm just trying to think of characters. Oh, Newman, was there a character on the show named Newman? Character named Newman. Yeah. Okay, well, Newman's made a, Newman has a. Unless it's number one. Number one. I don't know uh, enough about. Well, you, no, it's Frank something. We had that in a in a previous uh, okay thing. Okay, yeah. If know. you feel better about that, okay. So, do we know what any of those chemicals are? Silica. Well, that something's glass. white. Something silica, is, white. silica is sand, right? That's yeah, what yeah. yeah it's just, How's everybody yeah. doing, Kevin? They are. Um, Kind of on the last couple of questions. We should give them another couple of minutes, Tops. So you, how did you like being thrown around the rooms? Yeah, I couldn't do anything. That was fun. I was like, <laughs> they asked me a question. I got cut off. <laughs> I can't, because I can't make you a... Uh, I can't yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. In the, Just leave in me the, I looked and I can't do it. I have to do it in the main room. Yeah, leave me here for now because it's my team. You yeah, I yeah. Mean? <laughs> I think I might make that a rule. What about, what about cause... Cosmo. Cosmo is Kramer's name. Is there yeah. something in space that's made up of those things, like a Cosmo something or other? Like the universe, like Cosmos, the Cosmos? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a cream. It's a cream. The only cream I can yeah. think of is the, the stuff that George put on his head, but everything else is a person's name. So I'm thinking Newman, Uncle Leo. Um, oh, oh, the guy. She had a boyfriend for a while. Elaine had a boyfriend. He had a. He had this. He was dumb as dirt, and he had this. He oh, had oh, this oh. Um, yeah, it was played by played by um Warbuck. War. Yeah, and he talked Warburton. like this Warburton. all the time, and they kept Patrick breaking Warburton. up. Putty. Putty. P putty. Yeah, putty. it was putty. Putty. Right? Yeah, putty. He put super putty on his head. Putty. Put super putty. No. No, super putty? That, putty? yeah, that makes sense. Super putty or silly, putty, just putty. silly putty, silly putty, silly putty, silly, silly putty, yeah, silly, silly putty, silicone. That makes sense that he put oh, it on no, his head to make his hair grow. Mina, and wondering. don't don't worry about the spelling because maybe his name wasn't putty. It could have been putty with D's, not putty with T's. Or two or I saw his T T I. Some reason. Okay, well the answer is silly putty, like you've got it spelled, but the but to fit the uh, no keep the eye off. And um, but the theme it fits if it's spelled differently. So yeah. well, that's really good. Well you pulled that out of your hat. Was he a head. P or a P, Bob? Huh? Was he a putty with a T or putty with a D? 
I was thought I always heard T. I never okay. saw it spelled. Yeah, out. yeah. Pat, Patrick Warburton was the actor. He's cool. He's done a lot of stuff. He always talked like this, and they kept breaking up. Yeah, they were yeah. always breaking yeah. up and getting back together. Yeah. Did yeah. you like number two, Susan? He did the two. Yeah, that was sweet. Thank you. Did, Thank you did so you, much, Kevin. Did you write that? Me. Did you write that page? I'm, I'm, I live yeah. Jerry Andrus. I had her. Yeah, but did you write that Wikipedia page? Um, yeah, but a long time ago. So yeah, those might be your actual words then. <laughs> I cut that from Wikipedia. <laughs> I cut for a couple our, of things oh, out. That's funny. <laughs> for our team, who's going to be the spokesperson? Do you want me to do it? Because I have like the answers. Yeah, give the one minute warning. Re okay. Review, okay. review the answers you've got. Um, Good job, um, team. Um, I didn't help at all. Crap, I can't even think. We're starting to close out the January 6th hearings. I've got it on mute, but I can see the words coming across. Mark's gonna come in and go. Because <laughs> he's in the other room watching these hearings. Damn. Holy shit, we did well. How do you know? <laughs> I just. Oh, a couple I, of teams did well. Hi, Deborah. I'm, I'm, hey, I, Wendy. <laughs> Susan. Yes. What's wrong with your voice? <laughs> you ready for the answers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody back? The way you asked the question, I'm beginning to worry. Oh, right. Good. Number one answer is Frank's red hot sauce. We got uh, people were saying Philadelphia cream cheese and things like that. Number two <laughs> is Jerry Andrus. Yeah. Yes. You guys better me. all have gotten that. Number three is Estelle Getty. Mm -hmm. uh, Number four oh. is Rick and Morty. Yes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Number five uh -oh. is Helen Hunt. Uh huh. Oh, number God. six is Silly Putty. Yeah. Oh, number silly. seven is oh, Elaine my God. Boozler. A couple of people <laughs> had uh, Lorraine Newman, but it's not. It's, it's Elaine Boozler. Uh, number hmm. eight is George Carlin. Number oh. nine is Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah. Number 10 is Susan yeah. Sarandon. Mm -hmm. And the theme is they are all characters on Seinfeld. Yeah. Frank is Frank Costanza, the, oh, that's uh, the dad, thing. Jerry Seinfeld, Estelle Costanza, <laughs> Morty Seinfeld, Helen Seinfeld, David Putty, <laughs> Elaine Bennis. Ke Kevin, Bill do we get Stanza. credit for knowing the category as a bonus? No. No. But no. do we need for like the Mr. Conductor? We knew it was you George. We just George, didn't know the last name. Can I just, George can we, Carlin. You do we know need the, the full name? The answer, the answer is George, George Carlin. Carlin. You have to have George Carlin. And, oh, and I remember it now after he said his name. But wait, Lame. I thought you said that if there was a partial answer, that was okay. No, no, that's to use the theme. You had to know George oh, to get the no, theme. No, what you, what you actually have, have is Carl. Like, I'll accept yeah. just Frank's for number one. You don't have to say Frank's Red Hot Sauce, but Frank's Red Hot Sauce is the answer. Frank's is the answer, too. I have never uh, heard of Frank's Red Hot Sauce in my life. Oh, you put that shit on everything. That's the commercials yeah. they use. <laughs> they say it on the radio, on TV, and they bleep it out. We put that Beep. on everything. Somebody uh, uh, had a category about slogans to hear about that. Yes, we've done that one before, too. What if we had someone who also played Mr. Conductor, but was not George Carlin? No, no because it didn't fit the has theme. to relate to the theme. Ringo, 
There's no Ringo on Seinfeld, as far as I know. But there was a star. Main character. Gary Seinfeld <laughs> was the star of the show. Who? <laughs> Gary Seinfeld oh, was a bit the of a stretch. Of Jerry was that, not, that was not on stretch. Johnny Time Station. It. Take that shit out of here. All right. So we're going to go with the, we're going to go with the, uh, uh, the scores. We have just been joined by Richard Saunders and Caspian. So keep that in mind when you're giving your scores that you would like to attract either Richard Saunders or Caspian to your team. We're, we're going to need both of them. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. But well, we've got Karen. We don't need anybody else. Oh, okay. So chicken Schmidt shit or whatever your name is. <laughs> 10. 10. 10. No Caspian or Richard Saunders for you guys. <laughs> hey, no. I just want no you to know you. I was on that team. I was on that team and they got 10. Broke the mold. Except that I didn't really help. So <laughs> well, you had number two. At least two. you didn't hurt. I you had number, number two, two but they already had number two when I got there. Okay. A paranoia of narcissists. 10. Okay. Of course. None for you. Hubble bubble, bubble <laughs> yeah. toil and trouble. Seven. We got eight because it wasn't there a bonus. No, no, no. there was not a bonus. Screw you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do well getting neither oh, Richard, wow. Richard or Caspian. <laughs> Torturing cats. Seven. Uh oh. What is their category name? I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. And we um, and require a new person. We got four. Oh. oh, my God. I think we got three. What four did we get? No, we got four. Oh, four. We got yeah. Susan Saran and Kramer versus Kramer, George Carlin and Jerry Andrus. But OK, I didn't know we had George Carlin. And we had lots of good guesses on the other ones. And we knew the theme. We just talked to, talk to Adam, Rick and Morty. I said Rick and Morty. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's, what? It's How exactly dare they? Sorry, Rob. Like. Sometimes <laughs> help isn't help. <laughs> it's OK, Robin. <laughs> Okay, let me look. We're up. We went with Jimmy, Saunders, Jimmy Neutron over Saunders, Rick and Morty. Saunders what? is going under. I, the Princess of the Universe, require your score now. And I got to are... choose for Caspian now. Ben, 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 Ben. My team's so about to get a low score in the next round. So I think we are about to get a low score. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, are so who's doing the next round? Okay, I got to put I got to put Caspian on Hubble Bubble Toe in Trouble. I cannot put him yes. on a category called Torturing Cats. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. There's no way yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. So the team name, so the reflects name, your the name is ruined bias. it for you guys. So. Team name Susan, bias. Susan, Susan, kind what, of what, 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 what is your talk named at Psycon that's going to happen in October? What's the name of your talk? Herding cats, which is totally different from herding cats. <laughs> mm. right? the cat. I right? I'm not sure the cats would agree. Well, it's, it's a skill is to herd cats. So. Yeah, you herd before you torture. No, we don't don't want think hurting them hurts I, their pride. I thought you said burning cats. <laughs> oh, oh man, they smell. My cat has already left. The that's room the idea of it. You heard that's them a very special. That's a special event. That that burning cats <laughs> thing. It's oh, and you're getting Jamie habits. too, Caspian and Jamie. Thank you very much. Richard, oh, check your air quality. Two for they they've got they've got a more expansive uh, broad between the two of them, of the things they can do right. That's true. Hey, Bob, are those chickens really small or are they just way behind you? Did you just call her an expensive broad? <laughs> Here, here's my hand. Here's my hand. Wow, they're tiny. They're kind of small, tiny. yeah. They're Saramas. They're nuggets. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty nuggets. so bad. Oh, that's Kitty terrible. Nuggets. All right, Carl, you're up. Yeah, a that's paranoia like of narcissists. All right, so two weeks ago I did a round. I told you there might be more questions from the oh. subject. We know listen to you. More movie quotes. <laughs> so I anticipate Bob's team is going to do really well in this round. Yay, I got Bob. Okay, muting everyone. One, two, three. Okay. Number one. Nobody puts baby in the corner from 1987. I'll take the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Number two. 
I have always depended on the kindness of strangers from 1951, character, actor, actress, or movie. Number three, gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room from 1964. I take the character or the actor or actress. It would be too easy if I let you give the movie. Number four, from 1948, badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. Give me the name of the movie. Uh, if you know the actor or the character they played, I'll take that too, but I can't imagine anybody will know that. Number five. 1994. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. Character or movie? Number six, from 1942. Carl, sorry, can I ask a quick question? The character sure. moved the last one. Can we have the actor who's? Nope, just the character or the movie. <sighs> Number six, round up the usual suspect. From 1942, the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Number seven. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. 1969, give me the character or the movie. And there will be 11 questions since I've made some of these fairly tough. Number eight. From 1979, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Give me the character, the actor, the actress, or the movie. Number nine. 1940, tell them to go out there and whiz with all they got and win just one for the Gipper. Take the character who spoke it or the movie. Number 10, 1975, Attica, Attica, character or movie. And finally, for number 11, for a maximum of 10 possible points in the round, forget it, Jake, it's from 1974. And there you go. Breakout rooms. Open all rooms. I'll put everybody in in a minute who's not in a room and I will be meeting you in room two. So I decided Caspian and Jamie are going to go into Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. That's room three. And Saunders, you're going to go into room five. We finally finished all the peanuts. That's I, good. I just bought some, I just bought some milk duds. <laughs> I'm all out right now. I'm going to go through withdrawals. Okay. See you in a minute. Well, that's discouraging. Hi, team. <clears throat> Not sure how much I'm going to be for you, but. You'll be fine, honey. You'll be fine. I bet you know number one. <laughs> but, well, hang on. Did you, were you able to, Peggy, were you able to put it up? I think I did. You put You're it in right. chat. Uh, let me, uh, chat, chat, chat. I don't know that everything turned up, but a good portion of each quote seems to be in there. Okay. And that should be helpful. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Let me ask Mark. And Mark, woo! do you know the quote? Nobody puts baby in a corner. The only I could think of was Rosemary's baby. Did you come in here and go? I said, no, it's, I said, it's the, dirty it's dancing. Just ending right now, and I said, Mark's gonna come in and go. Oh my! It's God. Patrick Swayze and Dirty Dancing. <clears throat> I have this, it on YouTube. This, this was the most incredible of all of them. Do you I, hear that? 
Mark just finished listening to the hearings. He says this was the most incredible. Oh, damn moment. it, Mark. Especially, it. especially the outtakes of Trump trying to give those. They showed that they showed it. Oh, I've been wanting to see that. Oh, you'll see it. To be continued on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's on YouTube. Well, of course, everything's on. It will be. No, the video. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's right. Oh, okay. Or you, could just, or you could go. You could probably just go to one of the networks on online. Yeah, yeah I've got go it. On MSNBC. They'll show. And, all and the they're going to show it for the month, the next month, oh, yeah. clips of this yeah. stuff. But I like Except to see Fox. it all full. You won't see it on Fox. Okay. But I've been dying to see this little <laughs> clips of the ones that <laughs> oh, he was good. when he was trying to do the videos and he kept messing up. All right. Oh, I'm so glad they got that. That's going to make my whole week. <laughs> what number are we on? Oh, number I don't know. Two, number one <laughs> is Dirty Dancing. Number two is I've Always Depended on the Kindness of Strangers. Oh, is that from, oh. uh, wait. That's Gone with the Wind? Is that Gone with, with the Wind? wind? No. Vivian Lee, but different movie. Big play, Tennessee Williams. Oh, I didn't see that. Or I think I read the book. Streetcar Named Desire. Yeah, I think I read uh, the book. No, no, uh, I, I was thinking of Hot Tin Roof. Okay, never mind. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Yeah, I've never, yeah, I've never read. Hot Roof on a Cat Tin. Yeah. <laughs> and you number can't... three is Gentlemen, You Can't Play. What is it? You Can't Do Something in the War Room. Dr. Like... Strange Love. Yeah. Yeah, was that, would that be uh, uh, the, but was I, the movie? I, that's I, the president. That's but the what's the character? Yeah, or the actor. Actor, actor. Or the actor. It, it was Peter Sellers, wasn't Peter it? Sellers. Yeah, I don't president. know who actually said it. I think Peter I, Sellers, because he played three characters at least. So it, do you think he actually said it? Not, I think he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't him. Well, think about he, that. The, the phrase was said. Was it him? I don't know. You know, I don't overthink it. Just put, I, I think it's probably Peter Sellers. Uh, like you say, he's got all those characters he's playing. It's a yeah. fair chance. He got all the good lines too. Yeah. It's probably in his contract. And then next one well, is Slim Blazing Pickens. Saddles. Slim Pickens on the, badges, yeah. no. Badges is from Treasure of Samara Madre. Are you doing that with the straight face? No, what? it's it's Blazing Saddles. Number four? You certain? Of course. All right. Well, did you see show, Treasure you know, of the Sierra Madre? Badges? Did you see Treasure of the Sierra Madre? No. Which happened like decades before Blazing Saddles and which Blazing Saddles used as to riff on in the movie. Oh, this is 1948. You're probably right. Yeah. Uh, so because uh, I, I don't have the dates here. Okay. Yeah, because I would have said the same thing, Blazing Saddles. Okay. That makes I don't sense. Know, he actually said that in, in, in the 1948 version of Treasure, Treasure of the Sierra Madre. See. Okay. They really number, said that. Wow. Number five. Well, how, read the whole thing. Number five. You. Yeah. Somebody should read the whole thing because I don't. Well, you know I how to get, whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and. Blow. Now it, that because that's. Uh, Nineteen forty-four. Lauren Bacall. But, it's Lauren uh, Bacall into Have and Have Not. Oh, is that the movie? Okay. I'm pretty sure, unless somebody Larry, has. There's a, good, there's a great Warner Brothers cartoon where uh, you know, with uh, she's talking to uh, Bogey in the cartoon. Okay. Uh, the rat, number six is is uh, is uh, uh, Castle Blank. I know that much. So character or movie? Yeah, it's um, Claude Rains and Casablanca. Yeah. And then the next one is. That, 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 I'm that. walking here. I'm walking here. Is that seven? That's seven. No, that's yeah, it's seven. Is that Dustin Hoffman? Yeah. In uh, Midnight Cowboy. Yeah. I don't remember that one. I never saw oh, that. Napalm in the morning. This one is in my category. Damn it. I can't use that one. Well, it's 19, 1979. So this is Apocalypse Now? Yep. I oh, the song Napalm. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, what's, oh, what's his name? Uh, ah. Robert Duvall. Duvall. I, I always get I Duvall and the they're all confused. Yeah, Robert Duvall. And then we've got, oh, what's the next one? Tell him to go out there. Oh, that would be uh, George Gipp, uh, the Gipper. Uh, that's uh, Ronald Reagan's uh, the Gipper. Does Ron Ronald Reagan does he say that? I don't think he says that. And well, he it's, does. Um, if it's in, if isn't it's it Newt Rockney? Is it Newt Rockney? 
No, I think, uh, uh, and that would be uh, O'Brien or whatever his name is, uh, Pat O'Brien or whatever. But isn't but, Pat O'Brien playing Newt Rockney? Maybe playing, not? Yeah, but I don't, I, I don't know, but I think, I think it's, it's the George Gipper, a uh, George Gipp. I think it's the, I think it's. Uh, uh, That's well, not the name of the film. Well, you notice he doesn't want no, Ronald but Reagan as the name. The character, but it's the character. The character of a movie, but not the, the Gipper is the, Ronald Reagan played the Gipper. Right. George Gipp. But he's not the one who said it. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, then the only other person I could think of would be Pat O'Brien uh, right. playing Newt Rockney. But yeah, it's Newt Rockney who says it. I'm pretty uh, sure. All right. I, I'm not, but I'll go with you. And the movie was, <laughs> if we could remember the name of the movie, we wouldn't need to have this tiff, yeah. Alan. Are you guys fighting before I got movie? here? No, <laughs> there's no fighting in the trivia breakout rooms. We're not fighting. What was the name of the fight here? No. We're discussing. We're discussing loudly. I Susie's got to break you guys up then. What's the name of that stupid film? It's about football and Ronald Reagan's in it, and so it's not one of my favorites. Hello, Susie. What? What was the name of the movie in 1940 that Ronald Reagan was in, where he loses his leg? Right. Doesn't he lose his yeah. leg in that movie? No, no, he I, just gets some guy. He gets some kind of disease. They all get some kind of disease. I have no idea. You talking about Lou Gehrig? No, but it's the same idea. He gets, he gets, he gets sick. And, Aren't we on yeah. number ten? Most, most characters in movies get sick from the "you're perfectly fine and healthy until you drop dead" disease, so they don't have to right. show anyone all of suffering. All a sudden, um, get every okay. prize. Ken, Attica, Attica, Attica. Is that is that I Claudius? <laughs> I don't know. I like I, I that was thinking here. I was thinking Kill a Mockingbird. The only thing is, uh, oh, it's Atticus. 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 No, it's from Dog Day Afternoon. Oh, yeah? Did you not see Dog Day Afternoon? I did. I, Attica, I, Attica. I, I, Attica. I Attica. Isn't that it. Really? Well, how do you all I know to that. watch yeah. movies? I don't know. Yeah, they see it. Yeah, that's where I am. How do you all know this stuff? I just like <laughs> what? Well, we have we must have much more going on in our lives, I guess, because yeah, so we're not going to watch a movie. Wasted our, wasted our youth and our adulthoods watching films. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, so what's I didn't the, have TV most of like growing up. So there you go. You know? Have you, uh, Janine is the same thing. She's never had a TV set ever, so she is totally lost when any of these categories come up. She's oh got a lot of reading. She's been mm -hmm. on a farm. She knows all her chickens, but boy, she just is like lost on these categories. Uh, she said no. So 11, Peggy, what do you got there? You don't know this one, really? Forget it, Jake. It's no idea. 1974, one of the greatest movies ever made in America. Uh, Grease? Uh, Grease. E.T.? E.T.? China. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, really? Oh, what is okay. it? Chinatown, Jay. Chinatown. Never seen yeah. it. So that's how uh, it was. Civil Shepherd, yeah. No. No, Chinatown. No. Was... Um. It, it, it. So ten, we're missing. I'm having a, a blonde, but oh, not Faye Dun Faye Dunaway. Faye, Faye Dunaway is in. Not yeah. Chips, but Faye Dunaway. Yeah. What do you got for nine? I mean, number ten. Ten is uh, Newt Rockney, We think. You think. I thought you said that for nine. Okay, Alan thinks it's actually uh, Ronald Reagan. Well, but you can't you see they oh, want. Oh no, to ten. Attica, Attica is Dog Day Afternoon. Yeah, and uh, and nine. Well, if well, we'll go with the with uh, Newt Rockney, but uh, otherwise it would be uh, George. Oh no! Rick. Wait, wait, wait! I'm rethinking this. Okay, because it says tell them to go out there with all they got and win one for the Gipper. It says, tell him. So then I, I so think it's not George Newt Rockney. It's then it'd be George Gipp. George Gipp. Okay. I'm going with you on this one. Or it could be Newt Rockney. Hey, they no. almost came to blow, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> so how are you he doing? Alan and Peggy almost, not. almost, I came in here and they were about ready. You could see Susie just standing there like, stop you guys. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do it. So how are you doing? Are you done? We're done. We're not going to embarrass you. Or is this because you weren't, team. you didn't know this category? Is that why you were in absentia? No, he did. Carl? 
I wrote the round. Carl runs around. Oh, oh, that's oh, why he okay. can't be here. This is okay. why the team, the team that is reading the category usually yeah. does horrible because they can't answer. They're not on the team, and I have uh -huh. to take their place, and I don't have a clue. So, mm -hmm. okay, Carl, I've had usually the, the team they're on does badly. I've had a movie quote written for like six months and I haven't given it yet. And last time you did it and I said, oh, damn it. And then you only used one of the ones I had. And I thought, oh, good, I can rescue it by putting something in. And this one just blew me out of the water. <laughs> well, come on. There's a whole lot of years of movies you can come up with. So. <laughs> I know, I know. But, but these are the ones you want to use. You know, these are the good ones. Well, these, these are, in the, in the opinion of the American Film Institute, the 100 best quotes in 100 years. Yeah, it's not oh. fun when you write a category and nobody's getting it. Mm -hmm. It's not fun, except that I kind of enjoy it a little bit because it pisses me. Pisses, it so pisses it's off makes Carl, me happy. <laughs> Carl is is um, um, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepared to die. Is that on the list? <laughs> well, of course. I bet there, it is. There's quite a few really good quotes that aren't on the list. And, it's any list like that always, when you read it, you always come up with some disappointment. That's like, I can't believe that line's not in there. I think Princess Bride would like, probably have five I or could six not just on his own. If any quote from Blues Brothers is in it. Such a crap. Uh, there is movie. no quote from the Blues oh, Brothers. Oh, 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 now, come on now. Those fighting words there, Alan. Susie, have you seen Blues Brothers? Or I should say, how many times have you seen the Blues Brothers movie? Anyone else? Yeah, that's a better question. Yeah, see? Oh, I it. can't begin to tell you how many times I've seen it. See, see, Alan, we yeah, forced, the, we, we had a worst, category. It was the worst two and a half hours of my life. We Come had on. a category on Blues <laughs> Brothers and Alan finally said, I've never seen it. So he ended up watching it and he will not shut up about how he can't stand it. He didn't get it. I think he watched something else. I don't think it was the real Blues Brothers because there's no way you could say that it was awful. No, no I, I, want to see, if I want to see a Chicago movie. I watched Ferris Bueller. Alan, you should get high first. That's all I have to say. Just get high and watch it again. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it was kind of a, at the time thing, you know, so like it was yeah. an SNL and, you know, geared towards that. And so, yeah. Well, see, there's the other thing. I don't like SNL. So there you I, go. Yeah. Oh, that that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's that, a good that, point. That's I've good. never really got into SNL. Well, it, it, what he said is heresy. Oh. Yeah, I know. We should throw him off the team. Yeah. Well, I'll be on another team next category, so I'm off the team. We can't throw him uh, off the team because he's met he he's met jazz legends, and so we can't throw him off the team. Oh, this well. is true. This is true. This is true. Yes. He is too cool by half. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh good job. I don't know team. any I don't know any answers, but I met a couple of people. Here's our room again. Almost. Terry's uh, cat's here. Wait, where are, okay. Uh, well, her cat's always here because that's her chat. Wait, wait a Oh, are we out of our room? Yeah, you left. We're in the main room alone. You left, so of course. Well, we still had 60 seconds. Everybody left because it said recording stopped, so boom. Hey, Kyle. Your, yeah. your microphone, your, your, your microphone or your earphones, like then my, is that, a, a, is that wireless? No, it's got a wire. Right. I just bought some microphones for, from Jeannie Scott was talking about them and, and they go on the back and they, they, t they do something and they don't go in your ear. They go to the, the bone of your ear thing here. Oh, they're cochlear oh. implants. No, they're, no not. they're not. But, they're, but you, so you're not having it inside your ear. You have it. Yeah, they're, they're bone conduction. Yeah. yeah. So they have bone, it bone conduction headphones. No oh. microphone. They're headphones. No microphone. with the microphone, but I it was like eighty dollars more, and I didn't want to buy. They have bone. I didn't even know if I was going to like it, but well, because I do national meetings, and it would be really helpful to some have something more helpful than just headphones. Well, they have hmm. them. They have these with the little microphone that goes oh, around. Gosh. How oh, much were oh, they? Ron, I think Ron, 180. Ron, what have you got? What 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 do you what do you have in the way of mic? All right, the earphones. Well, this one is wired. 
despite the wire because it's charging, this one is wireless, but these are all ones that I got from my company. All right, because it's, it's a good sound. Oh, you mean like these? I have the exact same ones from my work. Hey. The Jabras or whatever yeah, they the are? Yeah, the Jabras. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're the back. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that Mark watched the entire January 6th hearing, and I watched the first hour and left the room. And Mark, can you come come here really quick and just say what? Is you he going to give us the update? No, and he's not going to tell you any details, right? But he's going to tell, tell you me how it is. Tell us. Tell us. Tell he, said. he just watched the whole time. I just think it was the best one. It really put the lid on it. I don't know. I don't know what more mm. we need. But uh, hello, Mark Edward. Hey, Mark. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. <laughs> so Mark just walks into the room yeah, after so it was they over. Had, they had some really, really stunning scenes of. The Rose Garden uh, speeches that he gave that night, they were outtakes that were unedited, and they were some of the funniest shit I have seen. Oh, no. <laughs> he can't even, he oh was God. so stunned, he couldn't even make up a good lie. And he kept hitting the podium. And oh, it's just, you got to see that part if you don't see anything. Oh, else. my gosh. Oh, that's but amazing. Where do, we, where do we go to see? Go to YouTube and just put it in. Okay. Like There's it. gonna be everywhere. Oh, just yeah. turn on the news. I mean, they're gonna be covering it like crazy. Well, I'm yeah. gonna see it all the way through. Yeah, yeah. so just go to YouTube down. and PBS. If you want to see it with no commercials, no advertising, and nothing clouding your opinion, Jan, the link, the link I put there, that's the recording <laughs> at the official January 6th hearing government website. Okay. You click there, it says okay. watch videos, and you can see them all. No commercials, no commentary, no comments, nothing. Nice. Cool. Right. Thank you, Karen. You can also Thank go you, to like PBS or CBS. Um, they'll have the whole thing, but they'll break for where there's a bathroom break. They take like a 10 minute bathroom break, and commentators who are who are good at this stuff know their shit will come in and do like 10 minutes and then usually at the end they'll give like i wouldn't go else. that far <laughs> oh i think so well they'll also tell you like they're in the room while it's happening they'll tell you the mood or if people are loud you know they'll tell you things that are anyway but if you want to see it with no video audio or content go to fox uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh, okay carl uh, back to you that's a good line all right, uh, you're gonna to want to stop recording. <laughs> stop recording. Or oh, we're gonna get some. Very good. I've Very seen good. I've seen one of these eleven movies. <laughs> Which really? one? Which one? Um. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't think that was one of the movies. <laughs> it was the one with the war room. Oh, okay. Oh, Doctor Strange. Strange, 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 Strange. The only one I've seen, and I saw that years ago. I've seen uh, two. I have no help. That amazing. One, which two? Which two, Janine? I've three. seen uh, Doctor Strange Love and Casablanca. I've seen every one of them, but could I remember I, this? No. I think I've seen two. Also, I've seen Chinatown and Midnight Cowboy. I think those are the only two I've seen. We need to have a giant party. Oh. We're all and watch movies. <laughs> watch old movies. I've actually seen five of these. Really? Wow. Well, now Caspian's seen a lot of movies. He took a class on. You took a class on movie um, movie watching. <laughs> it was like the history of the movies or something. What was it, Cass? It was a uh, senior lazy class. No, no, you took it. was really interesting. You took the Popcorn class and making. you came home and you it was spaghetti westerns, a lot of it. And oh my God, I learned a lot. You told us all sorts of stuff. Yep. I, I don't remember them all equally, but I think I've seen all of them. I, I have seen Dirty Dancing, but I didn't remember the the anything much about it which is weird. i've never seen it i just knew the quote okay yeah i never and, um, i never thought all the way through yeah and i've seen all the rest of them i don't that it's just that they get mixed up in my memory there's a good I, muppet I uh, baby didn't look like she was in a corner she was just more there, against the wall so that was there weird. you go there's a good muppet video going around with uh the dirty dancing dance in it oh. I, I Muppets do dirty dancing Oh no. Right. Well, isn't that Probably the first thing you think right? of? That's cute. Okay, so let's do our scores. We had a whole bunch named of after Jerry Orbach. I think the best scene in Dr. Strange Love was when the uh, guy uh, went down on the nuclear bomb. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Nuclear bomb or the nuclear yeah. bomb? 
Nuclear. This is before George W., so it's nuclear. It's not only George W., every freaking yeah. president has said it that way. Well, yeah. they don't all have to say it the same. It could be. And yeah, they have Especially because they're from the law Washington. that says we can't use an extra it's, R. It's because they're Washington. spending all that time in Washington. Yeah. All right. Up their <laughs> the pronunciations. If, if anybody is interested, as, as always, I put the uh, rounds can be downloaded from the chat there. Okay. Got it. Good job. Good job, Carl. Thank you so much. Good okay, one. Okay, so Force. I, the Force. princess of the universe, require your score now. Nine. Oh. No, we have ten. Oh, you're right. I'm Nine? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I gotta do, wait, I gotta do screen share. I concur with nine. Yeah. I had to remember what I was doing as I said the word screen share. I had to look and see what was I doing. All right, so that gives you up to 13. You're in the lead. Torturing cats. Oh, Nine. All right, sorry, Prince of the Universe team. All right, Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. Thanks to the timely addition of Caspian and Jamie, we also got a nine. No, we had ten. I thought. No, we we, we didn't 10. get. No, Newt Rockney. We needed the full thing. We didn't Caspian have Caspian and Jamie. What? I thought we just needed the name. What? No. I thought we just needed the name. No, well, well, the, the name. person who said it was George Gipp. Gip. The title of the movie was Newt Rockney All America. Right. Oh, we, we goofed on that one. So yeah, we got anyway, to I I I, I gotta keep us honest. Yeah, I think okay. that means we, the torturing cats, may have gotten an eight because we I think had we got George Gipp and the wrong name, but we had George Gipp. Oh, so do you have eight or Didn't nine? We? Well, you tell me, you're on. I, I don't no, know. We I, went I back and forth Gip. between George Gipp. Yeah, I think we did do the George Gipp, and then I said with Newt Rockney yeah. was the movie. So, okay, never yeah. mind. We're okay. Okay. So, chicken chick and. Oh. All right, and Carl's team, a paranormal ten. ten. Wow. I, again, wow. I was on that team. I did not take it. Wow, this <laughs> is a, yeah, this I is a real help. trend breaker. I didn't help, but I did. I did do that. So here we are. Ooh, look at that! 20, 20, 16, 16 and thirteen. All right, so let's take a group picture. Everybody, turn. Did on anyone get camera. all eleven? Yes, we did. Your team did. Uh, woo. We didn't. We. Missed one. Caspian, Jamie, turn on your camera. Wait, wait, Steve, don't go to the door. Don't go to the door. You have COVID. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's going on over there? Don't go to the Steve's door. going to the door. I muted it. Someone has COVID. <laughs> uh, put on your masks, everybody. Pretty much no. everyone has COVID, as far as I know. COVID. I don't yeah. like have it. Oh, Rick President has it. That's from one piece of paper. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I muted you, Karen. Yeah. And I and I just unmuted. You can unmute yourself. Okay, Caspian, where's Jamie? I exist. She's busy. All right, <laughs> everybody. One, two, three. Let's see if I have it. She says I exist. Oh, and now I hear my cat went to get in. Let's see. Save. Where's the save button on this thing? Hello, Jamie. She says hello. I don't know if you. Could. I believe it was Richard. Yeah. This is July. Nice to meet you. Twenty first. Okay, so five minutes. No cheating and looking at the hearing. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't no, know what's we'll going on, you five. don't know what's going on. You can't. We'll you get five. absorbed. You won't be able to do more than five minutes. It's we're, over. We're, we're going to play. I know it's work. over, but I can still go back and look at it. It's right here on my screen. There's a baseball game on my TV. It's impossible so. to go back in time. You once you miss it, you have missed it forever. That moment oh my God! Gone. I just tried to put the picture up on my Facebook page, and it just told me. Oh, I'm, you're still in jail. I, what, I can't what did you I keep do? it. Oh. What did you do to get? What did you do to get into Facebook jail? It's so stupid, you guys. I put, I was watching Skeptical, Skeptical this weekend, and one of the talks in the Sunday paper was an all set up, no, Abhijit from India, and he did a talk, and the talk was COVID cures in India. So I put up every one of the talks, I did a screenshot, and I said, hi, I'm at Skeptical, and I'm watching this talk, and I gave the name of the talk. So I put up the little thing, it said, it had a picture of Abhijit, and he's talking, and it says, I'm in Skeptical watching Abhiji talk about COVID cu cures in India. And I put quotes around the word cure. That was it. 
You're not allowed to say that your India has COVID cures or something. Wow. You, Do not say, say the word COVID badges. on on uh, Facebook. Always put a different, you know, spell it differently or put a number instead of a letter or thing. It violated. took them a couple of days and then they ban- and then they took me off. I have a one week suspension, but they say I can challenge it. And I tried challenging it, but you're not really talking to anybody. You just click a couple buttons. And then it says I've got like a month, uh, um, a month restriction from anything from a group. I run a whole cabal of people. <laughs> Oh, so I have the same thing, and I think I'm still banned from groups. Did someone else report no nope. message it's an algorithm. to the group? It's an, an algorithm. algorithm. Their Violated. algorithm is dumb. And it's my fourth yeah. one, but this is my fourth one. But all three of them have been just stupid stuff. So what did you say this time? I just said all I said is I'm I'm here at Skeptical watching Abhijit do a talk on COVID cures in India. That's it. That's all I said. And so, I you know, when, when the algorithm gets you, you can contest it. I did. But, oh. but it goes into review. Who it knows just goes to know? another algorithm. Yeah. yeah so there's I don't. Like, there's no person. Has, has it been reviewed yet, Susan? It just says reviewing or in okay. review. So it could be it could be two months from now. I don't know. Anyway, it pisses me off, but it's the best we got. You know, what are you going to do? Okay. So five, four minutes now. Susan, I have a question. Yeah. Did you hear me yell at Steve? Don't yeah. open the door. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I just heard somebody, him talking to someone and I just, you know, we went over it. I said, you can't, you have to mask. You can't go to the door. You have to wash your hands. And he Is was he just got, like, so he's somebody, got COVID? somebody knocked on the door. Well, where he was, he just came home. We busted him out of skilled nursing again because they're killing him. Mm. And, um, uh, and so we're taking super precautions until he has, you know, he should have a clean test, but we're just being super careful because they had a COVID outbreak. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Karen's Sorry. my advocate. Sorry. But you guys all know it's on video. <laughs> Anybody puts me away, Karen's busting me out. <laughs> Robin, Anyone else? I have become so addicted to opening arguments. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, and I've started watching um, uh, Clean Up on Aisle 45. Oh, what's that? And I was listening to, um, it's his other um, uh, uh, podcast. Okay. And um, and they, and they um, I was listening to Clean Up on Aisle 45 the other morning when I was walking my dog. Uh-huh. And they... He, they were reciting the names of the recent donors and one of them is a friend a Facebook friend of mine I think I may have met him once or twice Steve Kuno he's huh. he's in the skeptic crowd and <coughs> posts on Facebook a lot has a lot of the same Facebook friends as as I have and so I private messaged him and I said I heard you your name on on clean up on aisle 45 uh, for making a donation uh, unless it's some other guy named Steve Kuno and he um and so we got into this long discussion about like staying informed I don't well, listen to skeptic I used to listen to only skeptic um podcasts uh-huh and now I don't have time for them I'm listening to all these legal ones there's so much cool legal stuff um and I'm, I've been uh, listening to a lot of Emily D. Baker, who um, did a play-by-play on the Johnny Depp trial. She's <laughs> wonderful. She's just she's a legal commentator. She's a former prosecutor, and she spells it out like a law professor, and she explains everything, and it's really fun. She's fun. Yeah, I, um, um... we have a crush on her. <laughs> yes, we have a crush on her. <laughs> <laughs> um, my other, my other one that I listen to is um, oh, I'm having brain fade right now. The historian. Heather oh, Cox um, yes. Um, what's she's her name? Um, Heather, Heather Cox Richardson. Heather, Heather yeah. Cox Richardson. Yeah, yeah. she's fantastic. She's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, she makes me feel smarter. Yeah. Yeah, Emily D. Baker makes you feel smarter too. There's, there's some some of these people have a special way of reaching out to like everyone in the audience, and 
I don't know how they do it because I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, Andrew Torres, he just he makes law sound like fun. Yes. And yes, and he's so smart. I mean, he's he went to Harvard Law School. He's a smart yeah. dude. He's smart. Yeah. I'm gonna take a phone call. This is my daughter. I, I have a question. I have a question. Uh, it's very quick. I mean, seriously. Uh, Supreme uh, Court being so fucking stupid. Uh, it doesn't matter what a professor or anybody uh, who's smart and legal law, because the Supreme Court's going to fuck it all up. Yeah, the Supreme Court is entirely too political. I mean, it's ridiculous. So it's a, it's to me right now, the Supreme Court is just a mockery of what it should yeah. be. So as, it, as just like the Trump administration was a mockery of what the presidency should be. You, you the Supreme Court Democrat. currently is a mockery of what the Supreme Court should be. The Republican Party. What, Larry? The, 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 the Supreme Court to replace them. No, you can't replace them. They're in for life. You got to pack it. I mean, you, you can teach them, but you have to have a. You have to be sixty-five years or younger. Uh uh You what? Well, the next time you create the universe, Larry, you can make sure those rules are uh, in play. <laughs> yeah. You they well, what well, they can when teach a Supreme Court. Congress and the Senate replace. No. Uh, the Supreme Court. Not easily. It says that there's, there's a little thing called the Constitution, and and then mm. the Supreme Court is you, decided by that, not the, not whatever yeah. we feel like. You can impeach a Supreme Court justice, but if we couldn't impeach Trump by getting the three fourths majority we needed to twice, yeah, you can't impeach them because you don't like their you're opinion. You're not going. You're not going to. Get, you're not going you can to get impeach a okay. any federal officer for any yeah. reason. It is yeah. always a political uh, decision. You just make up a excuse it's but it just done. would be not easy all right we're well, back you hold the house and you have control of the senate you can abolish the filibuster and add however many seats to the supreme court you want. but you can also I just bought, a, I, just bought seats, a right? I just bought a t-shirt i'll wear it next week if i can remember it says uh vote we are now we uh, we are now ruthless yes we're now what oh, ruthless. Ruthless. ruthless oh uh -huh. yeah. I'm hoping that they have awakened the sleeping giant in the w the women's vote. Um, I yeah. sure hope so. Good luck with that. <laughs> Why All right, we we're back. We want positive things. This is supposed to, we're supposed to feel good about things, not worse. Just think of just think of that you're going to be able to go back a, in a little bit when the game's over and watch those unscripted remarks of Trump's. I've seen it. Can, uh, the two minutes ago, it, CSNBC just posted those unscripted remarks. So I guess that's going to be the story. They must be hilarious. All right. <laughs> We're back and I've just made Terry co-host. So Terry, you are yeah. up for us today. I am ready. Not moving quotes, right? Wait a minute. No announcements? What about announcements? Oh, announcements. Announcement. Oh, I'm so sorry. We got Kyle and Richard here. All right, Kyle and Richard. Kyle first, Richard next. Muted, Kyle. Thank you very Kyle. much. Sorry about that. Uh, we dropped two shows this week. Uh, last Friday, fraud detection in crowdfunding campaigns, and today, digital advertising. Going deep into those two. That's uh, this week on Data Skeptic. Two shows? How did you do two at once? It's stereo. <laughs> <laughs> when, it, when episode do you listen to your right ear, and the other episode is your left ear? <laughs> One doesn't make sense without the other. Well, as long as he's not talking out of both sides of his mouth. Wouldn't that be cognitive dissonance? <laughs> Must be Saunders. You're out. No. We haven't heard from Saunders. Auditory. He's got milk duds. Oh, milk duds. I introduced you... him to milk duds. He's never had them before. Wow. Really? So, so does that mean, uh, have you seen Thor yet, uh, Richard? <laughs> can't, can't, can't hear you, Richard. Richard. <laughs> We, we cannot hear, hear you. He sounds like he's squeaking. 
He's like, like he's, he's doing like armpit he's not, stuff. Yeah, he's not Sounds muted, like he's but his, head, his like, mic isn't working. Oh, 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 fancy microphone. expensive microphone equipment. Yeah, look, and he can't get the microphone nope. to work? <laughs> there, we there we go. There now we, go. we can hear you. Yeah, I had to <laughs> unplug it. All right. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Look, at, there's Hamilton, everybody. Ham- uh, hello, Hamilton. Hamilton. All right. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast, we have an interview with ta-da, Melanie Tracy King. Ooh. from Massachusetts about oh. science, what is science, what is pseudoscience and science education. The book of Tim looks at the history of perpetual motion and free energy. And in the Trove segment, we look at a couple of cases of alien abductions. All Ooh. that plus milk duds. <laughs> <laughs> I love milk duds. They were out at the start today. Oh, no. Just be careful, Richard, if you have any uh, implants or crowns, because those could yank them out easily. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Really? Oh, yeah. Very caramel. Oh, yeah. It's the caramel. Oh, that's so good. Okay, anything we have new? I'll be, well, we already know about Eugene, but it's getting to a point where it's getting close. Um. I think I, I had two articles published between this last game. And oh yeah, game. and you know what else? You interviewed That's... Neil deGrasse Tyson, well, that was one Richard of them. Weissman, and me and Kitty Biddle. Oh my yeah, but, god! But those aren't available yet. So the things that are available online are selling the paranormal and the Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Nice. Very yours, good. Uh, yours might be done this week. Might be. I, I sent I it. I really, in, really like the Tyson the interview too. Well, I liked the article too. It was really well done. Very good. Apropos um, of nothing, I saw, uh, I noticed that there was a, a new, uh, it's a podcast that I had never listened to, and it's sort of a podcast, but it was right on Facebook, and it was Ian Harris, who's a, a kind of an atheist comedian, and his sidekick, whose name I don't remember right now, and um, and today they were interviewing Brian Dunning, more than you ever wanted to know about his new movie, and how it got the name UFO, the oh. film they don't oh, want you to see. No. That's right. He's got a new movie maybe coming out if he can get the financial backers. Yeah. Very, that would be really exciting. That so, would be, that'd be fun. I'll send money to him for that. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. So it looks like not this week coming up, but the week after that, Nexus is going to be virtual. Um, if you guys miss Skeptic Cal, you, virtual you missed a really good time we had so much fun and thank you guys who did show up um if you want to pay the I think it's 30 dollars, you can get all the videos on youtube and there are some amazing talks well everything was amazing plus the one talk that we couldn't get to run which is the woman who was uh from snopes she's from snopes and she was on a research vessel uh off of the off of hawaii in the water so the, her internet kept going so they so we just cut the, cut that and oh, she's recording it now and well she's recorded it and she sent it in so they're going to edit it down and they're going to make a, a video and put it up on the youtube channel so oh, if you want idea. to get the videos so you can listen to them because you can't listen to them they won't release them for at least another six months so if you want to do that you're going to want to go to um Skeptical, if somebody will please put the link in there and you can you can pay $30. They'll give you the link to all the videos on YouTube. And really, it was a lot of fun. There was about uh, on average, about 75 or 80 of us that hung out and during the breaks and everything. And I was one of the organizers. And afterwards, we were look at my cat everywhere. My hand was going. He's looking at it because he thinks I have another piece of cheese in it. So <laughs> right now. So uh, look at, see, look at him. He's watching my hand. So we, we um, were having a talk afterwards and uh, with the other organizers. And we were talking about how our own specific teams, because it was Bay Area skeptics, Sacramento Area skeptics, Monterey County skeptics put this together. And we were saying that, you know, we didn't really get a lot of people from our local teams that came out to participate, you know, to hang out. But they said, they said, Everywhere they went, they kept saying, how did you guys hear about us? How did you hear about us? And they said, Susan told me. And you know what? It was a lot of trivia people. It was so great to have you guys. It was this group. 
was the biggest representation on the uh on on skeptical and i really appreciate that you guys it was so fun and then of course we had trivia on thursday on saturday night and the video is available on on um, youtube if you want to see it with i think a whole whopping 24 views so <laughs> great stuff so we've got a couple more talks coming up i've got uh one in la coming up it, in august the 21st yeah. And I'm going to be in Eugene with a bunch of other really awesome people. But I think unless you're in the Eugene, Oregon area, you're probably not going, but uh, maybe so. Uh, Deborah will be there, Mark Edward, myself, Leonard's planning on going. Uh, of course, Janine's going to be there. So that's going to be a little tiny conference for a couple of days. Lots, lots and lots going on. Janine might, um, she's got some really amazing speakers. I had no idea. That they were going to be there but that's so cool are we done we're done let's move on because i want to get to those hearings so much I'm back. To go with you guys i'm back i'm sorry i, had right. I, I, I told Did everybody you? okay Did and then you we got another week anyway huh did you did you say who the speakers were no because i didn't have it right in front of me but that's oh, all right mark chris split uh science-based medicine science-based medicine uh, Quack Cass, um, Lauren Pancrantz, faculty the from Skeptics Toolbox, expert on, fun. expert on malingering. Yeah. Uh, Paul Slovak is founder of Decision Research and talks about research risks. And his topic is the more who die, the less we care. Uh, Effie Greathouse is. Uh, an environmental scientist, but she does science for moms and she founded Fluoride Exposed, mm -hmm. a nonprofit for science based things for moms. And uh, Susan and Mark will be talking about psychics. And there's going to be magicians and there's probably going to be cake. Because mm -hmm. it's Ray Hyman's birthday party celebration. Yeah, it's Ray Hyman's birthday party. Mm -hmm. so. Then I'll be in Seattle after that. And I've got to wash my hands. I just came in from the chickens. <laughs> oh, she's got chickens too? What is it going on with this group? No, she's got, it's just those two. It's just, <laughs> it's just her and him. She lives on a cabin. She has a cabin with, with chickens all over the place. She, I, I left a chicken for you. The logs in yeah, that. And I got a chicken too, Whoa. somewhere here on my little my thing he made me a chicken is this a chicken i've got it upside down and you got one in your car too oh i have one in my car thank you there's a chicken see he made me worry oh, is that a richard saunders chicken yeah he made me a whole yeah. thing of stuff here all right we're back a whole, Harry, a whole thing of stuff <laughs> whole thing of stuff oh look there's alan's chicken i don't want to see your cock take it off the screen uh, <laughs> tmi tubin he gave us a tubin he showed us <laughs> are we ever gonna up. have trivia yeah, Karen, waiting. Karen has. Karen has a. Elephant. Karen has one. <laughs> All right, Terry. Oh, Pegasus! Ready? Karen has Pegasus. Ah. <laughs> Hurry up, Terry. Okay. Everybody ready? Who's gonna what's, do? What's I your topic? Oh, yeah, my to your topic first. Toys and games popular in the 1960s. Ooh. Answers from Wikipedia. Woohoo! Am I muting? Um, you can. You're playing the Susan. All right. Okay. Number one. In the 1960s version of this game, you choose a car for a game token, adding a powder blue peg for a boy and a light pink peg for a girl. You are monetarily rewarded for having children and hope to stay out of the poor farm. Number two. The Mormon church. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. Number two, this strategy board game of German origin is played on a hexagram shaped board. My game used marbles on a metal board. It is a modern and simplified variation of the game Halma. Number three. This game consists 
of a transparent plastic tube, 26 to 30 plastic rods, a base with four separate numbered trays and several dozen marbles. The plastic rods are passed through holes in the middle of the tube to form a lattice. The marbles are then placed on the top of the tube held in place by the lattice. Marbles tumble to the base of the tube during play. Name this game. Number four. This was a popular capture the flag board game. The pieces had Napoleonic insignia. Each player controls 40 pieces representing individual officer and soldier ranks in an army, six bombs and one flag. Number five, what popular toy from the 1960s was also used by the US military to detect tripwires? Number six, what toy originally used glass and contained tiny beads of polystyrene with aluminum powder? This toy was featured in the 1995 Disney Pixar animated film Toy Story in a scene where a sentient one performs a duel with Sheriff Woody. Number seven, with what toy can you walk the dog and go around the world without leaving the house? Number eight, this is a game of physical skill consisting of a box with holes and a steel marble. The object is to try to tilt the play field to guide the marble around obstacles to the finish. Number nine, what toy first sold in 1961 did you attach a garden hose to? And this is a direct quote from Wikipedia. Um, this toy is a long sheet of thin plastic being lengthwise on one side by a heat sealed tubular fold. And if that doesn't make a lot of sense, well, somebody can edit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And here's number 10. Mattel gave us this gift in 1964, Thing Maker was an activity toy. The danger, fun, not only included nox noxious fumes, but an exposed hot plate, which we heated to about 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. The point was to create semi-solid rubbery re replicas by pouring a substance called plastic goop into metal molds on a hot plate and letting them bake. The plastic goop is cured by the heat and when cooled, who can wait, can be removed from the mold. There are 14, there were 14 thing makers with various themes. I had the 1966 version with supposedly girly items. My brother had the first version from 1964. Name any version of this toy. Oh, wow. Great. No, bon no bonus. This is right. going to be great. I actually could do this. So oh, well, I thought you might be able team. to. I thought you might be able Bro, to. Oh, freaking that. time. Something I can <laughs> I have some answers to. Thank yeah. you, Gary. All right. So don't get that last one confused with the easy bake oven, or that could be very bad for you. Yeah, that's not the easy bake oven. All right. Finish our room. Okay. All right. Let me wait. Let me where's the deal? It's under oh, breakout uh, rooms. Dot, oh, mm -hmm. I just see it record. That wasn't it. Sorry, can someone else do it? Because there, thanks. Uh huh. And let me put now Paula that's... on her team, which is going to be number five. I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. Give you fresh blood over there. Doing, doing, doing. I can picture, I can I picture totally, number two. I got a bunch I, of these. I can picture it. I just don't know the name of it. Okay, number yeah. two is called Chinese Checkers. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay. I know three. What's three? Kerplunk. Ker Kerplunk. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a, uh, I'm talking to the head because my sister and brother had them, so I had them. I think, yeah, Kerplunk. And number four. Number four. four. Stratego. No, remember Stratego. Ah, thank you. Uh, I was yeah, like, yeah. I don't think Risk I had right, this but... board game. <laughs> I never played it, but I think 
I think my kids. Uh, that's the Do game. Uh, so there's another T in it. I know. I'm all like, I'm missing a T. There we go. Yep. yep. Trip wires. Okay, number sixty was. Uh, I mean, my was. Um, Popular toy used to detect trip wires. Yeah. It it's not just like a, a metal detector, right? I mean, that just seems too easy, too simple. But I think it had to do with some kind of, it's a toy, not a game. So it was a. Was it like a spray that you could use to. Silly putty. If you spray silly, silly putty or like. Silly that, string. Silly string. Silly string. Sprayed that, you could see a tripwire, right? Yeah, but yeah, that was more would. of a. Wouldn't it be well, you want something that's more of a mist than a silly? But I guess the silly strings light enough the that it would catch on the wire. On yeah, I had yeah. no idea they would use different trip wires, but that makes sense. Okay, I mean that's fine. I just wasn't sure if it was something oh, that was like more of an aerosol. Right. Edge of sketch, yeah, that's perfect. Yo yo, yo yo. Unless you're looking for something specific, I think it's just a generic yo yo. I know exactly what number eight is i just don't know them i know we had one for oh yeah they're, they're they're everybody had one you just tilt it yeah. all the tilt I, and I, I only could get about like maybe halfway through it ever even though is I did it called it all the tilt time. tilt a world tilt a well tilt, tilt a world is the name of like you a tilt carnival it. ride you but, have two knots yeah. on each side yeah. you tilt you screw the knife things and it moves it it's called mm -hmm. yep so yeah, good. we had a really good one, and then later we got a kind of a cheap one that didn't work as well. Why'd you get a new one? Well, because that that was my mine, and then when Casey was, you know, he had to get mm. one oh, for him. We kids, didn't have the other one anymore. I don't know what happens. Stuff. I mean, if we can't come up with any answer, I, I I'd say we just put tilt to whirl, even okay, though number we don't nine think it's is definitely completely slip right. Slip and slide. Slip and yeah. slide. Yep. Oh yeah. Slip and slide. Yeah. Yep. yeah I don't know why I didn't think of that. My What's brother that? had we had one of these things. Um is it shrinky dinks? No. No. No, because this came is the later. thing. Shrimp, this shrimp is long. you put in the oven. Yeah, this had this like baked. Yes, you put things. it on a hot plate and exposed it to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. But I think no, the hot need... plate was the toy, right? Yeah, well, in the forms. There's and the stuff that came, the plastic goop that came with them. It was and it, they, I don't yeah. remember this. I didn't have a yeah. I didn't we have had one. one. We had one, but it was really my brother's thing. What the heck was it? Any called, version though? of this choice. There's probably several versions of it. Yeah. Wonder if it had to do with the things that you're actually making. You know, like they were like cartoon figures or I don't know. I never got one for Casey though. Um and it's still marked. Well, I had the 1966 thing version with supposedly all items. What was it and called, Larry? The 64 version. Yeah, but it's what was it called? I have no idea. I'm just repeating what's in the question. Okay. <laughs> Didn't we do this with a human? No, I don't think they did it. With you don't think it's hands. called Tilt a World, or is that just really too much like the game? The that's not an actual ride. The Tilt. Yeah, that's a ride. That's so I don't know if that's. No, this like I remember they had, I think a version we had when I was growing up is they had a thing where you could make bugs. Oh, like, I do remember like that. You poured them into a mold. Did you pour them into you a mold? It, you poured the goop into a mold and you created like cre creepy crawlers. It was what it was called. Creepy I remember that. Crawlers. Yeah. I didn't have it, but I do remember that. That was like the version advertised to me. If you didn't criticize my need to watch old commercials on YouTube. <laughs> do we think that's one of the four is creepy remember. crawlers? Creepy no. crawlers. Yeah. I mean, you could make spiders with them, I think. So, I mean, that's a good uh, guess. As yeah, creepy is. crawlers is what they were called now, but. Right, man. but that's yeah, the question is that's version. the same as this thing for us. Mm -hmm. Tilt. Hmm. I, could it be just called tilt? Just tilt? 
the game that you don't could it yeah, be? let's just call it tilt tilt okay it doesn't feel like it's enough but but it's not shrinky dinks but do you want to put no no shrinky dinks was things that you that you got them and then you shrunk them. okay, okay. Huh. maybe drop zone drop zone maybe. Oh. do we want to call it creepy crawlers is like maybe one of the 14 things i don't know what if we don't have another say? answer what did casey say deborah Oh, he was thinking of the game with the with the metal ball. I think that might be called something like drop zone, or I don't think that's it though. I think tilt something is right. But Terry, for number ten, is it just like are you looking for just the name of the toy, but not the variations, the different themed ones they may have come out with? Uh, well, they're all various themes, so. I mean, the name of the toy is Thing Maker, but it, it, it and then it would have the variation with the word Thing Maker. So, so this number ten then technically has fourteen possible answers, is what we're Correct. saying. Correct. Okay. Yes. So it could right. be creepy. So then we're looking for the subtitle essentially. Okay. Well, so it could yeah. be like it could be like creep, uh, Thing Maker creepy crawlers. Yeah. So it, I say it, our answer is as good sure as any. Sure could be. Yes. I'm not going to say. Could be. You know. That. I wouldn't worry about it if they if they had a licensed it they could be a disney thing or a looney tunes thing or right. thing maker or, disney or dogs and cats for all we know. do you remember the smell of that I thing mm -hmm. no. oh, this is a good category terry you did a good job thank on you I, was like, was I, I got i got one i got two all by myself well Yay, you congratulations you Susan. and those so things were that was smart that was smart because i inherited those, all my kid my siblings toys I never and had and Susan didn't try to talk us out of answers, so we. I we think had we'll a right. stretch Armstrong, and we destroyed it to see what it was made. Oh, yeah. Number we, five, we number five, I helped a lot too. So I got number two and number three. We did it on the You're rock, and that's when we realized it was made out of some glycerin type of stretchy syrup that the sand on the playground stuck to. We had kerplunk. <laughs> I can still remember kerplunk. I can remember how it sounded. I wonder if I even have it still. I, think, I, I have my original life game that whenever we were when I was growing up. So last, do you really? Yeah, you have the little um, you have the little cars and everything. I I don't throw anything away. We played we played classic I, life last August, and Ramiro yeah. and my nephew were trying to figure out how to beat the crap out of my sister and myself because they realized we had more money on the table. So they started <laughs> pulling their resources together, <laughs> and they still didn't beat us. <laughs> Not nice. Not, Not nice. nice. You my brother played, practice. Oh, my brother played one time and he ended up needing to get a second car because he landed on like triplet, like twins, like three times. Oh no. So we had to get like <laughs> I don't remember until Terry read that out. I didn't remember that you had little pink and little blue. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that played, I, I knew exactly what that was. I knew exactly what that was as soon as and, I heard And at that. first I just put life and I'm like, no, I think technically the, the name game of, of the life. game is called the game of life. Game the of magazine. Life. So I'm like, life. I didn't want to make sure we get credit. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I, I didn't so I have that it. game, but my best friend growing up had it. And I, like every time I went to her house, I'm like, can we play life? Can we play yep, life? We played life. We played <laughs> shoots and ladders. What yeah. else did we play growing up? We have a we have a game. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but uh, it's called Careers, and no. uh, we played that forever. And Caspian came over at Christmas time, and we were like, "What game should we play?" And he says, "I like Careers," and I'm like, "Oh my god, that's a <laughs> game you liked?" And, we, and actually, we, I've played probably a thousand rounds of that. I mean, games that I swear, but it's not a really popular game. I don't, I don't we had this one when Casey was growing up. We had this game called Labyrinth, and I think we still have it somewhere. Oh, it yeah, was Labyrinth fun. is cool. That was fun. Yeah. Does it involve David Bowie? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. There, there is a. Not according to the package, anyway. No, Terry, leave the room. And when you're in the main I, room, hit, oh. hit breakout rooms, and, and it says close all rooms. Okay. Okay. Thanks. If you're not over here it. shaming our childhood. Oh no. I was too poor to afford a board game. 
Well, what's funny is, you know, uh, you think all every household had monopoly, but oh, all I monopoly did. did was cause me and my fights. brothers to fight. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We well, had there was too. one time we caught I one of our brothers sneaking to the closet and getting extra money out of an older version of monopoly oh. that we had. <laughs> So he was a big stinking cheater is what he was. Oh, no. we, we would always try to see if we could get away. You know, it's the money the actually... <laughs> we would always try to see if we could get away with like sneaking, just like embezzling while we were playing. Oh, yeah. were a loan like from the bank. A loan. Yeah. I, okay. Monopoly is just, it's just, causes fights. Uh, yeah, I don't. Throat. I haven't played it in years, just because oh, I just don't enjoy playing it. We played it so much. I love that. Well, I, we discovered we never knew how to play by the real rules because we oh, always yeah. put money down. We on always free modified parking. it. We yep. didn't know property did needed to go up for auction if you chose not to buy it. Yeah, we never did yeah, that. Nobody read we never did any of those things. I can't do it on my phone. Yeah, okay, I can't do it on my phone. It's Same. too sophisticated. <laughs> Deborah, are you in the wrong room? No, I don't think so. I have you in two. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to be in two. I think it's three. Yeah, I, you're in. Too bad. Two. She's been in our room. She's been in She's our room the now. last two rounds. She's yeah. going like, nowhere. All three yeah, rounds. They can't, they can't, they can't have I had her written down for two. No. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Well, her, so they got, they've got max score anyway so they're doing fine yeah. yeah they're doing fine we need the extra people <laughs> but there's only three in their team now oh we, we'll, we'll keep you deborah team? okay thanks Is it <laughs> thanks ben i appreciate sure. it no problem okay. we're happy to have you oh good <laughs> okay you guys ready i think so i think everybody's back is everybody back anybody not back yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Am I back? Looks back. like 28 people are here. We had this, we have some my, discussions. Did we lose Susie? Uh, I don't I don't think I'm here. I might be somewhere else. This is okay, my friend. Good. That's my Apparently back. I was somewhere else, but Susan, did we yeah. lose Susie? Did we Yeah, lose it looks like you lost Susie. Did you guys lose Susie? Yeah, yeah she yeah. she fell asleep. She went. She left. Uh -huh. Did she have she a better nice. time this time? She understand it or she didn't talk to me yet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> She She's fell asleep. Against you. <laughs> <laughs> she just got tired. So, okay. Well, this was a category she might have liked better. That's what I thought, but. Make sure you, you know. tell her. I okay. will. Okay. So with the cars and the pink and blue pegs, that was the game of life. The game of life. This was there one a song with, associated with that? I did not know. I don't know. Oh, a commercial. They had a commercial. It, you don't remember it? I don't think I ever I saw the commercial. Oh, there was a commercial. I'm there sure was a commercial. I think it was and a good like in life, pretty much determining whether you win that game is what employment you end up getting. That's true. <laughs> How yeah. many babies you have. And the babies. And whether or not you get to millionaire acres. Okay. Yeah. So number two, oh, a God. German game was called Chinese Checkers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny? It's a German game yeah. called Chinese Checkers. Oh, should have gone with that. And number three, this marble noisy game was <laughs> called Kerplunk. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Now, now this game with the military dudes that my brother would always blow me up in with his bombs, I never won, was <laughs> Stratego. That's yep. right. I still have that in my closet and haven't played in 40 years. <laughs> I actually got one. Oh, I got one ten, four years on you eBay. 40. I got one on eBay right. and sent it to my brother and he laughed. Okay, now <laughs> number five, this was used for tripwires, which was interesting, is silly string. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I got that one. That was really interesting. Yeah. That makes and sense. This, this cool thing with the aluminum powder was the etch a sketch. Yeah. Um, this one with sketch. this one with the tricks and the walking the dog and around the world and rocking the cradle was the yo-yo. My we brother have two was champions a... on our team. Awesome! 
My I love yo-yos. Was another I one. loved it. It was fun. Oh, I want to see some yo-yoing then. Okay. Now this game that I actually got pretty good at was the labyrinth with the- Did, did we keep that or did we change it, people? Is that wow. what it was called? That's what yeah. it was a word we used in the, somebody yeah. mentioned in the category before. But there was another game later called that. I think, that was I think we changed different. it. I think we yeah. had labyrinth and then we changed it. We had it. labyrinth and oh, we had a, sorry. We had, a, we had a synonym, so yeah. And I got yeah. it for my team. Yay me. Yay Thank you. you. Number, number nine, just weird thing, which actually I tried with a hose and bat, trash bags did not work, was a no. slip and slide. Yeah, and, we and, I, and I just fixed that stupid description in Wikipedia. So there was a change. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> That's awesome. I tell you that, Rob, he's on the ball. That's right. Okay. And number 10. He's not slipping. Slip and slide. He's not slipping. <laughs> this weird, weird <laughs> crap. I will tell you right now that mine, I'll give you all the all of them in a second, but mine was fun flowers and my brother's was creepy crawlers. Yay. All right. Yay. All right. Good job, These team. are all job. of the different ones. Wow. Creepy crawlers, giant thing. creepy crawlers, fighting men, creeple people, fun flowers, fright factory, ed incredible edibles, pickadoos, mini dragons, geeks, zoofy goofies, hot wheels factory, dolly maker, super cartoon maker, and zillions of jewels. How, how was, is the one that's incredible? That's edibles? Like that's weird. Yeah, you're not supposed Isn't to. Isn't that frightening? Yeah. I mean, the whole, we, this was like banned in 1970. For, Choking you know, hazard, yeah, all kinds yeah. of things. <laughs> but they brought it back in the 1990s because we had creepy crawlers. Like, no like way. how many, how many mm -hmm. people had to be stabbed before they got rid of lawn darts? <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Yeah. they're One. actually jarts. I almost used jarts. jarts. Yes. Yep, jarts. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. cool. okay. Let's see how we did. And, the, and the, those creepy crawler things were—they're oily too. They, they were. were. <laughs> they were weird. Effie and. Prone to starting fire. Great, and you could burn your burn, we were all burn you. our fingers on and, them too. Yeah, I fun. still remember the smell. I, I yeah. told my team, me I can remember the smell. They put some kind of perfume or something in it. They were yeah. weird. All right. So I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. I keep Eight. throwing people at you. So Eight. Okay. It's respectable. We had Eight. nine, but we changed the labyrinth. Um, uh -oh. Let's go with yeah. Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble. Uh, we had nine. That was Terry's team. So mm. nice, not embarrassing ourselves. Thank you, Terry. Torturing mm -hmm. cats. Did anybody keep track? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get, they'll have to Did get you, back oh, to you. Sorry, on oh, sorry. Oh, my muted. God. I'm going to your team next. Sorry, that's me. I was muted. Yeah, yeah, eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, paranoia of narcissists. Uh, it's my fault we got nine and not ten. It's not your Whoa. fault. We wouldn't have gotten it without you, Carl. So. Chicken shit. Okay. Ten. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho. Yep. Okay, somebody we just, somebody made a mistake. Her, can we savor this moment just for just for a <laughs> yeah. second? Oh yeah. I, I yeah. love yeah. being on a winning team. Vincent, you're on the winning team. We yes. are. You have, yes. You're ahead of Carl by one point. We, uh -huh. We're doing good. We rock. Yay, Wendy. Very good. Oh, Kevin. Good job, team. Okay, so. Hi, Paula. Paula's here. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Paula. And Kyle. On the there he is. Hey, hey. Kyle, they, uh, they, on the David P Pallades Wikipedia page, I told you the other day that they're really going at, going at it. And, to, and then a couple of days ago, somebody's all like, I looked up Kyle Polish and he's got a, he's, he's on LinkedIn. He's got a degree in and uh, computer science, I think, and their master's in uh, artificial intelligence. So he may not be a full scientist, but he sure knows his stuff or something else. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. It's not just the putts, you know? Yeah, so he should <laughs> he should know something about data science. So that, I don't know, I thought it was funny, but that's on one of the discussions about- the He was on that TV show. Was, it, was that was that animal party guy part of the whole thing against us? I don't, I seem he to remember. He was involved, but I can't remember what side i think he was kind of on the kind of on the anti gsow i yeah, I'm think, it's I'm kind thinking. of like a i'm, I'm not quite sure pull itch i said pull itch didn't i oh yeah i hope yeah. i said it all right Kyle. yeah i yeah, will it, always it, remember since he said that i will always remember how to say his name now pull itch. <laughs> all right you ready 
Mm -hmm. um, right. I've got to uh, bid you all adieu, um, as, as oh, usual. Don't I turn go into torturing a your cat again. again. Uh, I go, yeah, I turn into a pumpkin at midnight. So, oh, um, no. It's not midnight. Hello. It Can is you, here. It's, it's midnight Give somewhere. Give you a scratch. Uh, I know you're really going off the wordle. Because It'll probably be cat related uh, trivia. Time for a new wordle. Cats with they, diabetes. They hide to die. Okay. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So category four, our topic is sidekicks. Ooh. If I say Frodo, nice. you say Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> and uh, uh, important is one pedantic question, uh, just to resolve ambiguity. If you're after the and, you are the sidekick. So pen <laughs> and teller, teller is the sidekick. Ooh. All right, keep that in mind. Oh, let the, you're going to be interviewing pen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's amazing teller's not showing up because he wouldn't be able to answer anything. That so. wouldn't help much. <laughs> are we muting everybody? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Thank you. So teller is not the only silent sidekick. This sidekick might be caught drinking 40s and smoking blunts outside a non-branded convenience store. All right. Second sidekick for the evening. This sidekick co-wrote the song, It's Raining Men. Hallelujah. All right. Number three, name the sidekick superhero identity that has been taken by fictional characters, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, and non-canonically, Carrie Kelly. I left out the answer that would have given it away. All right. Tricky worded one, but you'll get this. Some of you. These old time radio sidekicks have rhyming names. The two main characters that they're related to, uh, the younger one is the grand nephew of the older one. Name the rhyming sidekicks. Sounds like you're saying side psychics. <laughs> I, I couldn't find any psychic sidekicks. Psychics. I yeah. didn't find any psychic sidekicks at all. There's a whole the whole thing that out there waiting to be a psychic yeah, sidekick. It's a new thing. All right, number five. The 1970s classic television show What's Happening, as well as What's Happening Now. Uh, follows main character Raj Thomas. Name his beret-wearing sidekick, who also appears in the Less Than Jake music video for the song Dope Man. All right. Our sixth sidekick. This sidekick appears in the eighth most translated book, authored by Miguel de Cervantes in 1615. Number seven, this prehistoric sidekick was voiced by Mel Blanc initially. Number eight, we got a couple of cute clues you can put together. Uh, they'll overthrow the earth. Uh, both of their genes have been spliced. One of them is a genius. The other is insane. Who is the sidekick? Oh, oh, oh. All right, now we get into the more superhero-y stuff. Captain America had a few sidekicks, including Dum Dum Dugan. One became a villain. Name him. And lastly, under the identity of Rescue, this uh, Marvel Cinematic U uh, Universe and regular Marvel Universe sidekick is portrayed by an actress despised by skeptics everywhere. There you have it, 10 sidekicks. Category we've never done before. Very creative. I like it. Send us to our rooms. Can I just confirm anyone after the end is the sidekick? Yeah, you you know the answer already. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. Okay. All I only know number eight. <laughs> so we're down to two people plus Susan because uh, we lost uh, one one after midnight person and Kyle is the- uh, Right, is the so monster. I'm Kyle. 
you you're not Kyle. I, I can tell the difference. So does anyone know well, any of these? Eight, I don't. Eight, I know. Eight. I know. I think I know all of them. Okay, the I will. One, uh, go ahead. Um, it is not a non. It's the quick stop, and it's Silent Bob. Is someone going to write this down, or should I write it down? You do, because I I don't. I am writing it down, but not in the place that would be. Which is not really a sidekick, in that he it's Kevin Smith, the writer and director of the movies. One is Silent Bob. Two is Paul Schaefer, Dave Letterman's sidekick, co-wrote It's Raining Men. Three is Robin. Oh, is that right? Batman and Robin. It is? Yes. The one he left, he said he left out the most well-known one, which is Dick Grayson. Four, I think, is Cato and Tonto, because... The Green Hornet is the great great nephew of the Lone Ranger. Do those do the Cato and Tonto? Oh. So Five. what'd you say? What'd you say four was? Cato and Tonto. Cato and Tonto. And both of those were radio shows, I think. Five, that's rerun. Was Raj's best friend on uh, What's happening? Six, I'm gonna need some help on that, but I think it's uh, Don Quixote's sidekick, who's what? Sancho, Pancho? Sancho, Sanchez? Hanso, Hanso Sanchez? I think Sancho. Sancho Panza. Yeah, I think it's Sancho Panza. Seven. I'm going to guess Barney Rubble. Oh. So I can't think of any other prehistoric cartoon. Okay. That makes sense. And eight is the brain. Which again, I think Pinky is the sidekick, but according to his dumb rule of, so I don't think Teller is really a sidekick either. No, Teller's the brains of the operation. Nine. I think is uh, Bucky who became the Winter Soldier. How do you know this stuff? I don't get it's it. It's in a Marvel movie. And also 10 is uh, Pepper Potts is played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, that would make sense. But Pepper Potts is... Uh... That's why we don't like her. So there we go. Silent Bob. Again, not the sidekick, really. Paul Schaefer is a sidekick. Robin is a sidekick. Cato and Tonto, rerun. Sancho Panza, Barney Rubble, The Brain, also not the sidekick. Bucky, Bucky Barnes, if they want to get technical. But he, and Pepper Potts. Dum Dum Dugan also was not really a sidekick. He was just one of the Howling Commandos. He was more so Nick Fury's sidekick. You, you can take this up with, uh, with Kyle. And the name of the convenience store was the Quick Stop. All right, should we go back? It, so, Leonard, you were saying there's no, strate, no strategic advantage to going back early because the person... The, the other the, teams can't tell. <clears throat> no, but the person, uh, Susan or the, 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 the quiz master, whoever the quiz master for that round is, can see. And then they're, they're more likely to... Bring it back. Right. Bring the other yeah, back if you see somebody there. back, that's absolutely right. I'll look and I can I can see who's back and who's not, and I can say if I see a team come back, I know they either knew nothing. <laughs> so shall we? Uh, shall we head back? Yeah. Well, it's the same thing as where we are right now. Good job. Well, if we, well, if we head back now, we avoid being recorded. No. Well, unless you're unless you're there with us. Well, I'm going to. Well, I guess you. I guess you will. Yeah, I'm so not going to stay here and talk to we, myself. We we can't avoid being uh, recorded by. I Cheryl. do the whole song now, Bohemian Rhapsody. Before we go family. back, I'll tell Susan, Susan. Sorry, I've been out a couple of weeks. I had COVID two weeks ago, and uh, had to make it do some extra work to make up for being out for COVID last week. How did you? What happened? How? how you okay. You... Yeah. No. It, it was. It was like the. I got COVID last December and had no symptoms. This time I had just basically kind of a cold. So. Not too bad. 
out of work for a week, then working. They adjusted my schedule. So I was working Thursday and Friday, which meant. Oh, because you have to work in person, right? Yeah. I did, I did manage. They did let me work one day from home. There's a few things I can do on my job that are from home, but mostly I have to be on site. What a but, shame. Uh, yeah, but I but when I work, it's seven to three in the morning, so I couldn't really do nine to midnight trivia and back at work at seven in the morning. No, probably not. I can see that being an issue, especially with COVID. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that, you know, I remember when people would get COVID, we'd all freak out. Now it's like, we, oh, we, we, we hate you, Kyle. <laughs> nice going, Kyle. You killed your own team. You didn't really. These teams are all of them, except. Everybody done? The convenience store Getting is the close. quick stop. It is not no name convenience store. Also, oh, he has not, he has he has problems with Jay him. is more the sidekick uh, as is Pinky. That's the and rule. And rule. Ooh, but we have Pink, an and rule. But, but so usually, and the brain. The rule is a straight man is first. Usually, when it's like a comedy but, duo, usually the straight man is first. So you would say Penn is the straight man? No, they're well, not really a comedy duo either. They're a magic duo. And Penn has Heller to be also the is not the sidekick. I got, a, I got this from Richard. That would be a real. I think Penn would tell you Teller is not the sidekick. No. Yeah, but he'd be happy if you thought so. All right, I think I'm going to close the rooms then. All Everybody's right. pretty close. Good job. Mike did all the work. Absolutely. Oh no, Susan has turned transparent. No, I'm I'm just queuing, <laughs> I'm queuing up the video. Oh, let's take it, Larry Addy. I <laughs> you, you you said it seems to have turned transparent. I'm sorry, Susan. No, I went to um I, I'm, I, queuing up, I was, I'm queuing up the video that I'll be able to watch whenever we're done. I, I, I was kidding. So time. wait on Kyle, on 10, you weren't really clear on what name you were looking for. The character's real, the character name or the? Fair point. We'll take the actress name, the fictional character name, uh, or I guess those are your two options. Okay. Because we knew both, but I wrote down the fictional and character. And we get points for, for each. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my dear, God. look at all these people flooding back in. I don't, oh. think, I don't think we got a 10, unfortunately, damn it. But at least you're being recorded. Sorry to break that streak. We, yeah, we, we, we needed more time though. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we need just a second. Let me reopen. Just a second. Okay, open all rooms. Sorry about that. We made a mistake. I wanna. I wanna. I don't think they need more time. Okay, we we need more time, please. <laughs> Maybe she thinks you'll lose points if you take more time. <laughs> it's always a possibility. Talk themselves out of it again. Or, uh, do we need okay, to go back team? Or are we rooms. gonna come that up with can, uh, and that way oh, yeah. have Close all. They really just get the minute. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any brilliant. Uh, yeah. We had Mike Wolf on our team. That's all we. Need. Yeah. <laughs> like I got them all. <laughs> really? Yeah. This one happened I, to be in my wheelhouse. There you go. Very much so. We got most of them, but there's a couple we couldn't figure out. Yeah. Anyone get number four? I don't think that. So. No, I don't no. think so. That's one of my favorite. People. We did. Like, Mike did. I think. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. That's uh, a tough one. Uh, no, I think you're right. I'm wondering if I'm going to kick myself as soon as I hear the answer. Probably. All right. Have you ever tried kicking yourself? It's not that easy. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, you can. Though. You just have to yeah, use you your heel. It's easier if you're lying down. Yeah, or if you're lying down, <laughs> down no, you right. if you're gonna do it, you got to go full force and get your forehead with the foot. You can, like, you can ah. jump in the air and do the Mary Tyler Moore jump and kick yourself in the butt. 
Well, I want a video right. on that next week. Everybody has to do He's trying to kick this out. I want a video. I want to see that. I want a good laugh. Uh, what were those bracelets called? Placebo? Placebo band. We yeah. had those. Yeah. And then the other ones were that you could um they were you were supposed to be able to do anything. The power balance. Power balance. Yeah, then you could kick yourself. Yeah, you kick yourself because you, you spent yourself. money on it. Yeah. yeah, you can kick yourself for the uh, the money you wasted on. Yeah, it. you yeah. kick yourself for that. All right, Kyle, you're up. So, All right, ready to Sorry. reveal some oh. sidekicks. Number one, I think everybody got this. It is Silent Bob. Silent Bob. He was all, he was not the sidekick, and it's the quick stop. It's not an yeah. unnamed convenience store. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. You know, how, you know how skeptics are. We just have to be exact. Kyle is just not going to name it. What were you <laughs> saying, Wendy? Uh, placebo bands yeah. number two saw a few correct answers and this was a question before paul schaefer mm. uh, heard of him all right number three you're gonna kick yourself if you didn't get it that's robin of batman and robin yes what if we wrote robin welch <laughs> <laughs> why would you write that yeah why, why, why? would you reveal you would her be perpetuating all the bullshit I got subjected to in elementary school. They didn't talk Aww. to you, didn't tease you about being a bird? Oh, hey, Robin, where's Batman? Yeah. Number Do four. you come from an acrobatic family, Robin? Here it comes. <laughs> no, I know well, this yeah, you got a little number bit. four. You My dad was a Jay cheerleader. Heels and Bruce Lee. Ah. Yeah, it's Hanto oh. and Kato. Oh. Ah. Ah. What was that again? Or Tanto Johnny and Kato. Deppin. Oh, Johnny Johnny Depp in the chat. oh yeah, to the Lone Ranger and the Green Hornet, respectively. Oh, but they don't rhyme. I thought it was on the same show. Tonto and Kato. They don't rhyme. They yeah, don't they rhyme. do. They, they don't rhyme. So it's not a good rhyme. They don't rhyme. It's, it's <laughs> close <laughs> enough. We got it right. Don't don't. Oh, that, that, that's, 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 that's a rhyme. rhyme. Show with both. Tonto, Tonto and Kato do not rhyme. As yes, though we would have gotten not in your answers. accent, but in as though we got those answers and dismissed them because they don't rhyme. Yeah. Kevin? That, that's why we 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 knew them, but we didn't they didn't sure rhyme. You did. Yeah, sure they you they did. rhyme. Kanto, Kato. Yeah. Your, your accent, Kevin. Kevin. Kanto. What did you put instead of that? It did would sound terrible in a poem. Bob and Ray and Ellie, we couldn't come up with one. But it is you a Tonto. Like they rather rhyme than write Kato. Kato. I've heard much worse rhymes. Of course, it does. We're all right. Okay. Next okay. one, Kyle. Anyway, anyway moving five. right along. Freddie rerun Stoobs. Yay. We said rerun. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Rerun totally fine. Wait. Uh, number six. I think a lot of people may have gotten the book. The sidekick is Sancho Panza. Ah, yes, it is. This is Leonard now. Leonard. He, he, yep. Number seven, Barney Rubble of the Flintstones. Mm -hmm. Well done, Modern Stone Age family. Mm. <laughs> that believe it. Yabba, yabba, do the apocalyptic From the town. <laughs> Sorry. And number eight, you can <laughs> sing it if you want. The sidekick by the end rule is the brain of Kim Pinky and the brain. Also yeah, not yeah. the sidekick. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's after and. Number nine, we'll take Bucky Barnes or the yes. Winter Soldier. Hey. And well, number 10, we will take Pepper Potts or Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes. 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 And you can have her. Yeah. Oh, I much, yeah. much prefer Pepper Potts to Gwyneth Paltrow. Seriously. Yes, definitely. There you have it. 10 sides. Well done. We nice did. one, Kyle. I liked it. Clever it category. Good. Do you have this? Do you have these handy, Susan? Right by your no, side? No, I have none. I told you I ran ah. out. Oh, they're good. My life is is sad. How am I going to watch the hearings I, now well, I, without them? Popcorn. Well, I bought you peanuts. I bought you peanuts. Yeah, we ran out yesterday or today. <sighs> I hear the I hear fireworks still going up in my neighborhood. Okay, so let's go to scores. You know what, Susan? I heard a barrage of fireworks last night while I was walking my dogs from your side of town. Did you did you hear it last night? I didn't night? let you off. Uh, well, I mean. <laughs> It's crazy. I can hear them now. What you're, I, I hear what you're hearing. Yeah. Well, we know them. that Susan is the loudest person. In I don't need fireworks. Power. You don't live anywhere near each other. How could you both hear it? 
<laughs> we live within fireworks hearing distance of apparently, each other. <laughs> apparently. Apparently. Depends what? on how big the fireworks are. Uh, I yeah, guess so. True. Okay, big so enough. we're gonna go right up the right up the road here. So I, the princess of the universe, require your score now. Nine. Yay! You're tied for first. Wow. <laughs> for about five minutes. Okay, torturing cats, which was the room that had um Kyle. Ten. Again, oh. again, I was there. I didn't tank the team. <laughs> I didn't talk anybody out of anything. Hubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Eight. And almost a leader. A pariah, oh, paranoia of narcissists. Nine. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Nine. Chicken shit. No. You got to, are you going to hold the lead? Nine. Oh. oh. Yes, they hold the lead. One point in on 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 round on three is really go. killing you, team. I still say Tonto does not rhyme with Cato because I checked it on, on Google pronouns or whatever. <laughs> You're right, rhyme. Kevin, but we did not uh, utter either one of those names. Because they don't rhyme. Yes, they do. Kevin, the basic, the, the basic definition of rhyme is two words that have the same last syllable. And by that definition, they, they rhyme. They rhyme. Kevin, and and it's okay. his rule, so if that's okay. All right, that, I'll buy it. By that definition, I buy it. Okay. What other what definition, definition of there? rhyme is there? No, if we <laughs> would have said it, if we would have said it and dismissed it, that's one thing. But we didn't. But even we think didn't of that. say it because I said those are those don't rhyme. That's why we didn't say it. <laughs> All right, Rob. Well, you need to go to Rob, rhyming. School. Rob, you've got a good bonus for us, right? Woo. Please, please. Interview. Well, Kevin, I have one winning. that was. One that was, I have no backdrop for the bonus because this is a last minute thing, uh, but I had two in the pocket. One was really easy and one is not so easy. So do the I'm not so easy. Trees. I'm going to do, do the, the not so easy one. Yay. Name me the 10 heaviest terrestrial animals. Ooh, terrestrial. terrestrial. Yeah, we're not, are, we're not counting not the uh, blue whale. Are we it's talking not, existing or extinct? Extant. And and I assume you uh, want general kind, as in not like listing five species of the same. No, thing. I want the kind. That's why this is more difficult. Oh, like so like, yeah. like 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 if there were whales, it might be blue whale, sperm whale, and okay. Whale. So yeah, yeah. But they can't be whales, right? Because but they can't be whales. They have to be able to creepy and whale. crawly around, and they can't be extinct. That is correct. They have to be okay. Ooh. Possible. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard. Good, good job. I want a hard. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Send the showrooms, please. Does Do the have... land shark count? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, drop gram. bears. Do drop bears Candy count? Gram. Drop bears. <laughs> Sharknado? Terrestrial. No? Oh, I got it. May need oh. to be reassigned. Are you four? Oh, no, here it goes. Are you four? Yeah. Asian elephant. Hello, team. And then there's isn't there like three or four different kinds of rhinos that we could put? Yeah, there's white rhino, there's gray rhino, purple, black rhino. Yeah, purple rhinos. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna put black rhino, white rhino. Well, first Asian elephants and. Wait, 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 are black rhinos, did they go extinct? I don't Just think so. No, they're extinct. highly endangered, but. Are you sure they didn't actually go extinct? Is Asian elephant. Let's see how many other things we come up with. Is a white rhino. Black rhino, white rhino. It's a gray rhino. Um, hippopotamus. Yeah, I was wondering, because I would consider that terrestrial, because they can walk on land. They're not. Definitely. Yeah. Oh no, they're definitely special. Donald they Trump. To, they, they have to breathe air. They have to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Donald, Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. There too. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't breathe air. He's not terrestrial. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they keep saying he's going to walk down to the Capitol. I'm thinking that guy wouldn't walk. No, he's not walking <laughs> walk. down to the Capitol. He would be like he's driving drunk. down to the Capitol, maybe, but not walking anywhere. What, what types of rhinoceros have already been named? Black and white. Um, uh, there's also, I think there's also the Asian rhinoceros or Indian, Indian, Indian rhino. Is it still? Yeah. 
it still exists. I didn't mm -hmm. heard of it. Yeah, I haven't heard of it either. No. Well, I vote to put it on the list. <laughs> okay. okay. Indian Rhino. Um, We've only got six, so we'll put it How there. About a, would a, oh, would a male about. lion be really heavy? No. 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 Giraffe? No. Not compared to this. Oh, yeah, I was, I was thinking giraffes. Giraffes, giraffes are skinny, though. They're pretty, yeah. they're pretty big. They're a lot bigger than you think. I've seen a giraffe skull, and I couldn't believe how large it was. They're big. Yeah, we, we've, been on, yeah we've been on African safaris right next to a giraffe. They're huge. How about a walrus? I've been in a zoo land. right next to a walrus giraffe. And it was terrestrial. It's not terrestrial. Sea lion. Well, what walruses about a, get out of the water and walk around. California sea lion. What about a bison? A sea lion is pretty heavy. Yeah, um, I think a sea lion is me. terrestrial, like just like a walrus is much bigger than like a like a, a bison. These are not bison terrestrial. Water buffalo. Water buffalo. Water buffalo. Water buffalo. Oh, in fact, here. Water buffalo. We have close to 10 now. Well, let me look at the list. Eight. eight. So, Robin, you're arguing that a walrus is not. I would say that is not a terrestrial animal. I would say it spends 90% of its time in the ocean and it's, it's not designed to walk on land. I mean, it's got flippers, not it legs. It does, but they do. Yeah, they hang out on land, but it's not terrestrial. Just in the same way that a whale is not terrestrial. I think terrestrial means spends most of its life on land. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah it seems like they mainly go on land to escape predators or breed. Yeah. Yeah, I like giraffe. I do too. I think we're getting close to where we're going. Well, there's like three species of giraffes, so. Okay. Well. Can you name any of them? Possibly giraffe. No, I cannot. <laughs> I didn't know there were three species. I didn't know they did. I'm not Mama, a biologist. Mama, daddy, and baby giraffe. <laughs> How if about we, bull? One, I, would just, I would just put giraffe. You know what? That's good, a bull. Giraffe. What type of bull? That's a generic term. It's a, a male, male cow. cow. Yeah, a male cow. Which type? And that's, that's bull, bovine. Um, um, you need to specify. Yeah, what kind of, because because bull they are different is, kind of cows. So they're bull is a generic. Yeah, it bull. You get bull lots of. Well, things. we could do two if we could think of two kinds of bulls. But I bet bulls are there. Bull. But that's the thing. I think I think we should say bison. There's bulls. We have bison on there. We have bison. We have bison. Okay, bison. It's cows and bulls. That's a too, that's too generic, unfortunately. It's not. How about polar bear or grizzly bear? Grizzly bear Kodiak. would be pretty big. Kodiak. Pretty big. Kodiak. Kodiak is bigger than than the others. I know Bigfoot. Kodiak. I would bear. replace bull with giraffe if we're going to go with a. a bear I didn't know Kodiak bear, bear was a species separate from grizzly bear. Yeah, I think that it is. Okay, it's larger. I, I think, think bull bull, bear, bull is not a. Right. Not gonna cut what it. kind of bull? Yeah, bull is not. Yeah, because bull, bull means a boy cow. As well. Yeah, raging bull. Uh, we could put grizzly bear. As being, or polar bear are polar bears bigger than grizzly bears? I think so. They're the same species. Oh, no, really? No, polar bears and I, grizzly no, bears are not the no, same. No, polar bears and grizzly bears are not the same. And I um, think polar bears are bigger than grizzly bears. You think they are? I think. I'm yeah, not I think sure, polar, but I polar think bears so. are the heaviest. See, polar bears are mating now with. Um, well, grizzly bears, they're, they're essentially the same, they're essentially the same species, but living in two different habitats. So like a labradoodle, they, what would they be? Uh -huh. A grizzly, polar grizzly? No, they're, they're essentially <laughs> they the same. What would they be? They are the same species. They simply live in different uh, environments and so have different coat color. But now they're crossing because polar bears aren't out so far on the ice. And so 
Well, let's say either polar bear or grizzly bear instead of bull. I like that. Oh, yeah. But what about giraffe? Oh. Heavy. I just don't think they're that heavy. I think um, I, if you, they're huge, but tiny spindly little legs, skinny neck. I don't yeah, think they, they're that heavy. Yeah, that, they, these, these are enormous weight. They, they said heaviest meaning weight, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Polar bears? What about like Texas Longhorn? Bulls. Isn't it a Texas I like Longhorn? That one. Isn't it a Texas Longhorn not. or the large bull? I don't think so. Well, and so I guess one question we could ask um, is like, have Indian. I never heard of an Indian rhino. Is, Bob is, confirmed that they have to have legs, so walruses are out. Yeah. Yes. So um yeah. But I would um, rather put I'd rather put longhorns than again. Indian. Um, Take out Indian, Indian rhino. Animal. But but do Indian they need to be rhino, wild animals? Or, so do, uh, longhorns are domesticated animals that were bred to be that way. Does that, that count? I don't, they, I don't I don't I don't think it matters in the doesn't description. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I, okay, so uh, I don't, don't know if you heard me before. If I said if rhino giraffe shows up on there. I'm calling you guys out. <laughs> I'm just saying. I that said right I, I said giraffe because <laughs> I thought that was a good guess. We've been talking about the giraffe. We think that maybe it's just too. I think okay. longhorn bull is not, not dense. They're not a dense thing. I'm gonna laugh. What? Nothing. Surely there are other close things close besides close water close. buffaloes. So a Kodiak bear is bigger than a grizzly bear. Polar bear. At least if you look at the Kodiak. The if you look at the Kodiak bear exhibit in the capital in Alaska. They are much bigger. Huh. She says polar bears and grizzly bears are the same thing. They're just different coats. No. So but a polar that bear might is, be, is big. That, they've got, that no, might no, no, not no. be true for this particular. Polar bears uh -huh. have a different, different uh, face structure than a grizzly bear. Talk to That's the controversial thing in science right now. Anyway, so let's have a look. Uh, elephants, of course. Rhinos, hippo, yeah, yeah. Bison good is a good... Buffalo, bison. Uh, me, after eating at pizza with Susan. <laughs> I know, for real. <laughs> <laughs> They're having, a, having milk duds after that. <laughs> there's got to be something else like water buffalo in Asia. Yeah. No, there's got to be like Three or four kinds of water buffalo that Asian water something. buffalo. No, I can't think of one. Okay, just water buffalo. We used to have giant animals in Australia thousands of years ago. You know, giant marsupials and things that were huge, but no longer. We tried putting drop they're... bears, but nobody would go with that. <laughs> That's why they keep falling out of the trees. Away. They, they wouldn't. They're too small. We had what they call megafauna here. So we had giant wombats and all these mm -hmm. sort of animals, which I believe were hunted to extinction. That would happen in New Zealand too. Yeah. They had the mower. Yeah. Hunted to extinction. To an extent. Let me, let me ask um, my other agriculturalist what the largest uh, breed of cow is. Good. I don't think it would be a longhorn bull, but I'm it not might sure. be a Brahma bull. Uh, yeah. yeah. A I, think a long bull. I think a Brahma Brahma's is bigger than a longhorn. Yeah, I agree with you, having seen them. Yes. Yeah, they're pretty skinny though. How about a Clydesdale? Skinny because they don't get enough food. No, I mean, exactly. I would think that the largest um draft horses would be bigger than a Brahma bull. I don't draft. think so. I uh, don't think when it comes to weight, I, I think don't think so. Yeah. Are, they horses tend heavier. to be more lean. Horses are, are more lean, while bulls and you know right. bison are bigger, more girth. A breed of uh, the largest cow breed is one from France, but John can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Would it be uh, Chart the Chardonnay? No. The Chardonnay cow. <laughs> it's we, we. 29 wee, wee. seconds. It's Is not that Brahma the... bull on there now. I don't like yeah. Brahma bull because I don't think it's going to be a, a 
domesticated animal. I think it's going to be I, natural animals. I agree. And yeah. I don't know what else to put. But we don't have all we don't here. have ten seconds. So yeah. All right. So. Great job, team. That was an interesting category. <laughs> I like categories where you can figure it out if you. Yeah, don't I do too. So. Rob, that was a really good category because it wasn't something we Karen, need to rely Karen, on. I know it's not like you to be fat shaming no. someone. So I just well, don't say anything yet. We have questions. I lost Karen. my host capability for some reason. I admire an animal or human being of large proportions. Okay. Karen, what if what if Fred Berry watches the video? Come I don't on. know who that is. Rob, you yeah, have your powers. It's always that chance. We still have questions though. Rob, Fred what was, what was you posted? Yeah, yeah. so so uh, hey, hold on. So, so apparently, Susan, I don't know what controls it, but the message that flashes up, some people, it's so short time, people didn't read it. Well, yeah. that's how it normally is, but that's, that's all right. I don't know what controls that. But it is an array because we didn't read it. So I'm going to give people a chance I, to ask it here and go back to their room because some people want to fix things. So can you post right. those What's things? The question? What? what? Well, my message in was, the chat. What, what, what your message said. was that they have to have legs that they walk on, not waddle. All right. And, and what? what? They can't waddle. They can't waddle. So we're not talking about seals. Okay. You should does it have to be, does it have to be a natural animal or can it be a man-made animal? Uh, what? Put it, put it <laughs> no. in the chat. I specially well. breed it as well. They're land animals. Fine. They, they all walk on four legs. They're not seals or sea lions. No, no, no pinnipeds. Okay. And then, and then no the other people. question was how fine of a breakdown. If it's a, if there's two of, of large ones, and they're different species. You can list both of them, and you should list both of them. So that was the other that was the other message, right? Yeah. Right. If there's a southern blue whale and a northern blue whale, both of those would get points. And you can't just okay. say blue whale. Got it. All right. Oh, so, so it's a blue whale. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't have legs. So, uh, Rob, is it heavier he... in pounds or heavier in kilos? Which is it? <laughs> <laughs> the reason he can't put it in the chat is the chats are separated by breakout rooms. Yes. So, but all right. If you so put it in there now, we'd see it and cut and paste. But do you know, not remember what I just said? Do I really have to type that out? No, no, I got I'm, it now. No, Something about fine. blue whales. What time do you want? <laughs> we're fine. No. We're it now. That was whales and time travel, and then you broke up. So, do you want to go but, back to the rooms, Kevin? Yes. No. Blue whales. No. Blue whales. You're okay, blue whales Karen? I thought lot. we had to decide one thing. Somebody no, we have ten. I would like to go back to the rooms for a second. We have ten, and none of them have feet. I'm going to give you like two minutes. All of them have feet. Two blue whale, but blue whales don't waddle. Okay, let's go back. I have a question. <laughs> They're not terrestrial. Go back okay. to the room. Yeah. Bigger than a cow. But good, good, good. So I think yeah. moose. moose could moose. Oh, moose, moose, moose. Squirrel. You want moose, moose instead of Brahma bull? Yes. I don't like the idea of a man made animal. I agree. Okay, was that and it? Moose, it's still a change? Moose is bigger. Moose. I think a moose. They're is well good. fed. Moose. Moose is moose. good. But you know, I, I wonder if he has three kinds of rhinos, because he was talking about two kinds. Oh, he's thinking of the elephants, probably. Paula, Paula was the one of saying that there was an Indian rhino, but I don't never know. heard of it. I've never um, heard of it. Maybe we should take that off. What else could we, we put did. We, we did. had taken we the Indian rhino off. Oh. So, so the moose puts us back to 10. I hope I'm right about the Kodiak bear being different than, than the... Uh, well, we have polar bears and Kodiak bears. Yeah. We, don't, we, so didn't, you, we didn't separate um, grizzly bears and polar bears because you said they were the same species. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. that, that's controversial. I guess that's watching it. Has it has nothing to do with the generous. The season. Giants just got a home run. <laughs> oh. okay. okay. Grand slam. Oh. Grand slam. Oh. Brian did it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, the most effective Damn. amount of vaccine. That, that's interesting. Yes. Well, apparently the Giants just got a grand slam. We heard it live on the background of, of uh, Robin's <laughs> TV. Her husband got a little excited. I've seen, oh, he's listening to the January 6th committee. No, it was a grand slam. Well, it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been trying to convince my wife to get the Shingrix. Uh, she hasn't done it yet. To get what? Leonard Shingrix. I had the Shingrix vaccine. Oh, my God. 
Put her on right now. Let me talk to her. She's asleep. I be had happy if I like her. shingles a year ago. I, t- I told her that when that happened. Die. It is horrible. Yeah, I, I had a guy at work. So this is like before the pandemic, four years ago. He was like 40. And he said it was the worst pain he's ever had in his it life. Is, it's really awful. It goes on I was for a about long time. F- 50 Susan, I got I the vaccine it. after you had the shingles. Because you, after hearing what you said, I got vaccinated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it you is, for not getting sick. Thank you for taking my advice. It is awful. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I, she, you talked me into getting the vaccine also. Everybody yeah, I, here I, with I, the sound of my voice, if you're over 40, get your freaking shingles shot. Yeah, two I, I, I got my first <laughs> shot on Tuesday and my arm is killing me. Yes, it's very we painful. Have the, we have oh, don't the, say that. Uh, I, had had shingles. Shingles. Oh, I, mean, I had shingles. I had shingles. It's, when it's, I was it's, it's, it's yeah, nothing, you can compared, get it when you're nothing compared to shingles. But yeah, it's the only shot. Are we ready for the list? Oh, I didn't know I have list. Get the answer. List us. So, did I mention it was mono rules? <laughs> no. 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 It would have to have been no. the, of mono the top rule. 100. We'll need to go back we're, into we're our. Gonna have no to mono revolve. rules. Okay. No. All right. So, for 10 points, these are the 10. Number one, coming in at an average mass of 4.9 tons, the African bush elephant. It was the African bush? Wow. Yep, because <laughs> number three, at 2.7 is the African forest elephant. Oh. Oh, so there's, there's African, more African elephant and African elephant. Can we get one elephant. for African elephants? I thought there was just two, African yes, and yeah. Indian. Nope, I was clear. <clears throat> said if it's a sperm whale, you can't say sperm whale if there's a north uh, and a south. Right, well, wait a minute. If we, yeah, so if we just said African elephant, we're wrong? We're wrong. Yeah. It's not Can a speech. we get credit for one of Number two. Lighthouse, okay, so everyone lighthouse. who said elephant right. didn't say those. Every, everyone's got a zero. Moving on. Number two. Is the Asian elephant? Okay, we got one. We got that. that. Okay, we got right. that. Shush, my kitty's meowing. Rob, the, the smallest terrestrial animals. Number four is the white rhinoceros. Okay. Yay! 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 Number five is the Indian rhinoceros. Oh, oh, no. No. I didn't know there was such a thing. Paula, oh, don't hate us. Paula, we took it off. Yeah. We took it off. Would you accept Native American rhinoceros? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, just for the cleverness. Uh, <laughs> the first, first Nations rhinoceros. Yeah, indigenous. First Nations. <laughs> indigenous people. Yes. Uh, Number six coming in at 1.8 uh, tons is the hippopotamus. I hear yes. a kitty. Yes. Wait, just the hippopotamus? Uh, Are we sure? Not a western okay. bush hippopotamus. African bush forest hippopotamus. <laughs> species, only one species. Not the pygmy hippopotamus. <laughs> Number seven. So we already mentioned, um, uh, let's see, two rhinoceri, right? White and Indian. There's also the Javan rhinoceros. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, Is that a fancy word for black? <laughs> It's a coffee colored one. That's it's number Java. that's number eight. The black yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a black. You got that one. So there's a lot of heavy uh, rhinoceri species. Apparently. Number nine, and there is only one species. There's a lot of little subspecies. The giraffe. Oh, we we argued over that. that for a long time. We argued over that. We did too. Team giraffe over here. What did I say? What? Founders <laughs> wanted to drop. And lastly, but not leastly, on the top ten is a word I've never heard before: the gaur, G-A-U-R, which is also called the Indian bison. So a gaur is a people? Is that where we get the phrase gaur? We said, we said bison. Indian bison. You are... oh, bison is not good enough. No, because there's American, North American bison. And stuff. Okay. Oh, this is hard. What about a blue whale? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, where on the list is the mighty Tarask? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the. Uh... Give, give it, yeah, give us the next few, please, so we can grow. <laughs> so there's Indian the bison are cool. At your own leisure. You should look up the Indian bison. They're really cool. Hey, look, it's a Wikipedia link, everybody. Where's the Rob, water buffalo after he's drunk? Rob, don't you want to torture us? <laughs> Say the next five, so we'll go. Oh, they, they, actually it's, only, it's only one through ten. They only list the top ten. So that, that really I mean, water buffalo are made. They look like um, emaciated but tall cows. Heaviest living reptiles. That might have been a category. We're hey, going to have in the future. Somebody look at that. Be, so you never know. That's next Heaviest week. Heaviest living quiet. birds. So to be clear, Rob, you're not accepting African element as a correct answer. That's correct. 
Because okay. there's two separate okay. answers. African why parcels is it, and African parcels. Why isn't well, we Godzilla have... on the list or King Kong? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because they're extinct. I don't know. <laughs> and the last movie, he's somewhere in the center of the earth, actually, if you saw that. That's right. Rob, well, our list actually terrestrial had... if you're inside the earth. What about humans? Isn't there some very heavy humans? Well, we tried Peggy, Donald Trump. Peggy and has a Andre the Giant died. Peggy, Peggy. Yeah, I did have a question because our list had African elephant, but we also had to distinguish the African forest elephant. So if there's only one other kind of African elephant, I think we should get credit for the African elephant. Oh, listen to this lawyer talk. Oh, here. We said <laughs> African elephant too. So and I think anyone who had African elephant should get it. I think we should get it. And if I have elephant. legal problems, I'm hiring you to split hairs. Definitely. Oh. Definitely. I think I think really the January 6th and he was clear with it. So. She should take ba Bannon on. Take it to the Supreme Court. If you didn't say Bush, African Bush elephant, you don't get the point. Bush matters. Was <laughs> but, but Kevin, does it rhyme? It doesn't rhyme. Okay, scores. Oh, oh. oh. If we, if the, if I didn't have the January six hearing waiting for me right now, I would be, we'd be arguing a little longer. Be, but I've got it all queued up. Before. I am ready to go. I'm gonna. Uh, boy what about the hippo elephant rhino combination in the only the one in the bush in africa Here no the hippo elephant rhino is the halifino <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke vincent should have told seriously <laughs> okay so i you, the princess of the universe require your score now four <laughs> that was a team i was on yeah but everybody else got the same score so way too well. yeah. okay Hubble bubble toil and trouble. Uh, four. And torturing cats. Five. How dare you? Yeah. A per paranoia, paranoia of narcissists. Seven. Oh, Narcissus my God. Narcissus. No. Oh, no. And we got five. Oh, no. Is it a comeback for the paranoia five. of narcissists? Five. Four. Oh, I thought we had five. Either way, we lost. Five. Oh. You lost by oh. one point. Five. Five. Seven is uh, suspicious. What this is seven shocking. Is so the team with Carlotta at one? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that never <laughs> happens, right, Leonard? Minority shocking. detail is tiny, tiny insignificant shocked. details of each of these species trying to figure out which ones count. And, and we struggled and we were so smart and just still didn't get it what was the what was the questions for round one which i missed what was the theme oh it was um seinfeld category, category. it was a mystery that turned out to be seinfeld Cat and then we the had movie quotes seinfeld. and then we had oh, okay. toys and games for the six well yeah. done well done okay. That was fun. These were Very fun good. categories. <laughs> you know, that was really fun answer night. extinct I see you, caspian and jamie <laughs> what did they say so next week, next week, <laughs> nice. y'all. I like ants. I have Gail. Right. I'm out of here. Goodbye. I have Rod. Right. Bye. I have Faith and Bonus. I need two I categories. I think I might. I can, I can do a category. I can get out of here. Hey, Jamie. I'm yeah, going to wait for milk duds. I need Bye. one more category. Um, I can do one for reals. Are you, are you sure? For reals. I promise. I promise. Yeah, you better book a backup. Uh, Peggy, <laughs> you're on backup. <laughs> Again, again. Oh, the association is coming after her again. I hope my my HOA meeting is going to be on Monday night. I'm going to be free on Thursday night. Okay, go good. postpone. Oh, Nothing happens do, on Thursday have, night. Who do we have, Susan? We have Gail, Rob, Jamie, Robin, and Faith doing bonus. Oh, the did. following week. Okay, is Rich still here. Richard's gone, right? Richard left. I, I wanted to find out if he watched Thor yet to see if he saw himself oh, in there. Oh, I think he would post on Facebook if there was something. Well, I, I I have a screenshot and we can decide together if we think it's him or Is not. He on I it? wanted to have him in there. Oh, no. Let's see it. It's grainy, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. So I have I have a question, people. Um, I posted that I'm I did the same thing with Tyson on my Facebook page and asked if anyone wanted to ask questions and I asked some of the questions that people gave me on Facebook. So I, I did the same with Penn, and somebody mentioned him being on Doctor Oz. Oh yes! Oh my I'm God! Yes! Yes! Bullshit. Yes! So I'm not Absolutely. aware of this. Oh, oh my God! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Oh. He, he's a little bit of a 
Are we still recording? Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, so 